Okay. Oh, what? Oh, this is all fucking changed. Oh, what's going on? Oh, that'll do. Something's gone wrong. There we go. Yeah, this slobs has changed again. I hate it when it does that because everything fucks up. Right, okay. Right, everyone in a nice cold zone, it then. We are indeed, mm. mate. Yeah. Right, first thing is, it's probably best if you put put your canopies down because you'll be able to hear me a bit better. I should have actually said I've got a pen and paper, but don't worry about it. Yeah, I've just got, yeah, I've just got a notepad ready. It's not not essential, like so. You, like I said, you can just watch it back tomorrow and like do it from there. Right then, everyone ready? Uh, yeah, ready. How are we okay. Put the canopies down there, sausage. Uh, Lenny's. How, how do you put the canopy down? Now, if you look to your right hand side, just under the bow of the canopy, you'll see like a box that says canopy. Yes. If you look yeah. just under, there's a silver handle poking out. Oh, blimey, yeah, that's uh, it's tiny, that switch, isn't it? Yeah, just, you can do that or a whole control C, that'll put it down as well. But make make sure it keeps running till the motor stops. The other way you can close the canopy, Goose, is pulling that yellow and black handle between yeah. your legs. Yeah, <laughs> that, that funky yellow and black thing. <laughs> right then. Okay, so the way I'll call this out is I'll say like right knee, left knee. So if you look at your right knee, it means the panels to the right of your knee. To the right of your right knee. Left knee is like left knee. Butt cheek is like, you know, the panels close being behind you and stuff like that. And then obviously you've got your UFC, which is your, th your thing with your uh, telephone dial thing right in front of your nose. You got your left MFD, well they're called DDIs actually. So you got your left DDI, your right DDI, they're your screens. And we'll just call it the middle DDI. It's actually called an AMPCD, but let's just call it the middle DDI. Right, okay, mate. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh right, what we'll do first, we'll get it started. So left knee. Now see your ejector seat handle where it says safe. The yellow and black stripey thing. Okay, click that so it's down and armed. Yep. And then just to the right of that, two switches in, you've got BAT. That's for your battery. So yep. give that yep. a right click with your mouse and switch it to on. Yep. Okay, so over on your left hip, by, uh, just uh, to your throttle and then down a bit, you'll see an APU. Okay, right click on that, switch it on, and you get the best sound in the world. Well, it's better when the canopy's up, but... Mm. Now what you do is wait for the green light to show up saying ready. It takes, it takes about 10 seconds. Okay, when red light is on, there's a little switch be below it, so engine crank. Okay, right click that. <clears throat> now, if you look forward again, by that dial, yeah, that um, DDI between your knees, to the left of that is what's called your IFI, which is like your fuel page, and you'll see like a dial going up with your RPM. Yep. Yeah, I've seen now, yeah. when it hits 25, uncage your right throttle. Now, do, you, do you all know what your, your switches are for that? Yeah, you might have to uh, go into your adjust controls and see where your uncage is. Is it Ooh. right all home? Yes, I think it is. See, I've got a key bar to my joystick, you see? No, that's your left one. Right alt. Right, uh, right alt on home, maybe? No, right alt on home is your left. Thank you, right shuttle. Yeah, it is. Yeah, r right shift and home will uncage you. And then you get your beeps and things. Is everyone with me so far? So far yep. mate, yeah. yeah. Okay. So your left DDI or your left TV screen 
There's a round switch above it says off night day. Just right click it twice today. And the same again with your right DDI. Okay, now for the one between your knees, um, at the top you'll see like a, a round twisting knob says off and BRT. So if you left click and hold on that and then just go up with your mouse, it'll switch it all the way to bright. Or you can scroll it with your mouse button. And that'll switch that one on. Now that'll take a few seconds. There we go. Mine's just kicked in. Okay, so what it is, the reason you, you switch your right engine on is because your right engine powers everything. Powers all your TDIs. If you do it with your left engine, none of that will come on. Okay, now we're going to start the INS alignment now. This is the thing that takes time, but if you do it now, by the time you've done everything else and switched it all on, it's usually ready. Okay, so on your right hip, there's the sensor panel. So you'll see like the manual override handle, yellow and black thing. So if you go right to there, like there your lights, and then you go down one panel, you'll see like flare, radar, LTDR, and then INS which is the right twisty knob. Yes, mate, yeah. Okay, right click on yeah. that onto CV, Charlie Victor. Yeah. Right. So that's for when you want to carry your attention. Yes. If you were on the ground, you do it to G GND. Now, on the monitor between your knees, have you got your, uh, has like a map popped up now? Just lost my mouse. <laughs> Yeah. yeah now, if I if I start racing ahead, just tell me to stop, okay? Well, I've um, just lost, lost my mouse, so I can't see anything. You lost your mouse. Yeah. If you press your left Alt and C button, should it should yeah. bring your mouse just around the back? Yep, yeah, got it. Right. Okay. So, on the is everyone's on that middle monitor? Is it like a map now for everyone? Yes. Right. Okay. The way you get that off is. On the left column of buttons, OSB is called, there's like, uh, you've got the top row, the right row, the bottom row, and the left row. Right, on the left row... Sorry, Philip, is, is, are you at the right stage of this then, or...? Well, I've got the... Did you, get to the, did you switch the um, INS to CV? Yeah, yeah, I've just right. done that. Yeah. I've got the radar top of it. Yeah, uh, that's just what I was going to tell you to do next. On that left column, the third button down, yeah. press that twice, and you'll go back to a normal, like, black screen with the green stuff on. Yeah. 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 Now, on the bottom row, second button in, above it, it says STD heading or HDG. Yeah. Okay, bo hit that button and box that. Yeah. And yeah. this will this will make the, uh, the INS align quicker. Okay, now, whatever you do, don't, whenever you're doing this, don't take your handbrake off or try not to move the plane, or it'll go into, like, a slow one. It'll take 10 minutes to align. Okay, so while it's doing that, we'll move on. So, on your right DDI, can you see, like, your bit failures page? Yes, mate, yeah. Okay, top row of buttons, top row of OSBs. On the right, it says stop. Just press that once to stop it flashing. Okay, now press the bottom middle menu button and press it twice so you get to your support page. Okay, on the right hand side of buttons, the right hand OSBs, at the bottom it says FCS, the flight control surfaces. So hit that FCS and you'll get to uh, the, uh, the page where all your panels and stuff and some boxes should have X's in them yep. Yep. right like that's just like the bit test it's rather bit test and that's what's showing up they're like faults but you're clear that we're going to clear them now so if you look down on your uh, your left butt cheek you'll see like a, um, a button that says reset it says gain it's like a red switch and to the right of the red switch it says reset yep right now 
just hold that down hold that down for one or two seconds then let it go and then to the left you'll see like a weird look on switch that says rudder trim it's got like a nipple on top nipple button on top yeah. so just press that to, just give that a click so it pushes down just click and let go all right now if you look back at your uh, your ddi all mx's should be gone Right, okay. Now, on that page, you'll see uh, if you look at it, it says left uh, LEF. If you read that from the middle down, it says LEF T E F A I L Rud and Stab. Now, it says it should say Stab, and then that side says 12 with an arrow pointing up. Yeah. Now, with your trim switch on your joystick or whatever you've got your trim switch, pull it down and make Stab 15. Okay, now that's like a standard weight uh, when you're loaded up with like uh, AMRAMs and HARMs and stuff like that. That's like the weight. If you're going up with JSALs or heavy stuff, make your stab trim 17. But try not to go above 20 or you'll just like, you'll go vertical when you take off. Yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. 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 Let me just put everyone's volume up a bit. Yeah. Hang on a minute, because I'm just wanting to hear a bit now. Can't see it, you know, making a huge amount of difference, regardless. But yeah, that's what that's what he says in the uh, the DCS training module thing. Yeah, yeah. There's like different weights. Depends on how yeah. much uh, stab trim you give it. It just yeah. helps to get off the deck, basically. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you go back to your middle DDI. Yeah. Now, if you look down, uh, there's like info underneath the center center point. It should say qual. 0.5 OK. Uh, yes, mate. Yeah. Is everyone okay with that? Yeah. Yep. I got zero six. Does it say OK though? Yeah. It doesn't matter as long as it says OK. That's fine. Now go back. You know your INS switch that we switch to CV. Yep. Now what you do is right-click that three times so it's in the three o'clock position, IFA. Yep. Yep. Okay. That? Now your plane's aligned. Techno. Okay, so let's get the left engine started now. So back to your engine crank switch on your left side by the APU with the green light. Yeah. Give it a left click. And then what you're going to want to do when that on your IFE, your fuel page, when that hits 25, you need to uncrank your left throttle. So anyone rem remember the key bind for that? I can't. Uh, I think it was that's the right old and home, wasn't it? Yes, it is, yeah, because yeah. that's mine. Mine's already going up. Okay, and it's winding so, so up the now. So the RPM on the left-hand engine should be going up on the screen, then, should it? On the, on the yeah, on the, on the left-hand engine. They, they should stabilise at about 64 RPM when they're up and green, up and running. Uh, watch that, mate. Okay. Everyone okay with that, yeah? Yeah, copy yeah. that, mate. Right. Okay, now back to the left side of the, the panels. Now, right at the back, you see oh, this. You'll see a little panel. It's a, your oxy oxygen flow panel. It's called O box. Yep. Right. Switch switch that to on. Okay, that's your oxygen. So if you go above twenty thousand feet, you might go hypoxic and black out. If that is not switched on. Okay, everyone yeah. done, yeah? Sorry, mate, what, what panel was that on? Sorry, sausage? Right. On your left-hand side, near yeah. the back, yeah. you'll see like a like a, a grey, twisty one. But, uh, it's got oh, oxygen it, yeah. yeah. Now, the, sil yeah. Yeah, the silver switch, switch that. that to on. Right, that, mate. Right. Yeah. And everyone's yeah. APU should be shutting down now as well. You'll hear that's yeah. shut off. Yeah, shut so, one thing I have forgotten, though, is uh, back over to your... 
your INS alignment panel on your right hand side to, uh, there's a switch to the left of the INS called radar yep. switch that to the 12 o'clock position OPR or operational yep. no it's that yeah, switch basically right. just switching your radar on my uh, a did you say APU should have been should have gone off yeah 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 it's just gone off now yeah, it shuts down. Don't worry, because that's it's designed to do that. What you can actually do is, as soon as you, you, both engines are up and running at 64, you can manually shut it off. But I just let it take itself off. Yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. Now, one thing I haven't done is your hood. So, on your UFC, see the uh, the the phone dial pad. Yeah. Right. Underneath there, you got a row of buttons that says AP, IFF, TCN. Now. Directly under AP is a round switch that says BRT. Yeah, roger that, mate. Right, scroll that up, turn that on, and that's your hood. Put that, on, put that on the maximum sausage. No, well, it depends on the time of day. So if it's dawn or night, maximum yeah. it blares. So you just right. you turn it to taste, basically. Okay, mate. Okay, so while we're here. Uh, that row of buttons I've just mentioned, the APR, IFF, and all them. Yeah. Uh, lo locate D slash L for data link. Yep, yep. Press it once, and then go along two buttons to where it says on off, and press it on. Yep, yep. Okay, now press data link again, the DL button so again. So it's come up with on 33600, is it? Yeah, just like as soon yeah. as it says on, yeah. yeah press, okay. Then press that data link button again. And press on again. You should say on one two seven. Yeah, Roger that, mate. Yep. Right now, staying uh, on that line of, you okay? Yeah, I've got the one two seven. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Now uh, go along to where it says ILS. Yep. Okay, press that. Then on the keypad, type in one one eleven. Then on that keypad, there's a little enter button underneath the number nine. Press that, and then press that on-off button again. Yeah. Okay. So what's that? What's that actually doing then, sausage? Doing this, is, this is uh, this is this when you're coming into land. It's your uh, right. initial landing system. Right. Okay. Uh, the, ta the button to the left of that, TACAN, TCN. Press yeah. that. Okay. Type in 72. And enter, and then on. Now that's the tack for the for the carrier for when you're coming home. You don't need them until you come on back, so don't worry about it. But then next to that you've got IFF, identify friend or foe. That's, so, a, that's yeah. a good one to have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Press that <laughs> and then press on. Yeah. Should say XP, something like it that. Does, yeah. So basically basically when your INS is aligned and your engine's running, you can literally just take off. Everything else can be done underneath now right. what might be a bit hard to see is you might have to scoot down for this but on your middle DDI there's a big yellow and white striped button saying ECM jettison don't push it but to the right of them you'll see a, f a row of five black switches yeah. Now yeah. The, f the far right one by the two twisting knobs press that All right, yeah. okay R R W R is This it, is your countermeasures, yeah. Yeah. Now it took me ages to find that. <laughs> Absolutely not in there. Just out of just out of like uh, pure I, I just do it by accident. Or like it's just a, a rule of thumb for me. A couple of buttons across it says offset. Yeah. You don't have to press this, but I do, I've just been doing it for years. Just press that offset so it says enable. Okay, now below them is it um, an ECM switch, a round twisty switch called ECM. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go back a bit? Uh, yeah, mate. What are you up to? Uh, when you said the ECS Jetson. Yeah. Okay. See the ECM Jetson. Don't press the jet button. Okay. But yeah. to the right of there, you'll see like a little round black switch. Yeah. Now above that is a row of five black push buttons. I'll press the far right one. Uh, the auto. Uh, let me just see. Let me zoom in. What to say? 
you zoom in it says uh, ALR 67 power Press that so it's on. Yep. You should all light up then. Yep. And then if you go across, if you go back left across them buttons, you got display, special, offset, and bit. Uh, push the offset button so it says enable offset. Yep. Okay. Now if you go down underneath that, and is everyone okay? Everyone up to speed? Sorry if you jump on your toes, but what server are we in, please? Uh, TCS sausage server, mate. Hello. So if you go down, there's a, a, a silver round switch that says ECM. Yeah. So right twist on that up to REC for receive. Yeah. Now if you're in the heat of battle, up against mix and all kinds of the shooting, oh yeah, switch that to XMIT. It's jammer. That's your jammer. But I usually right. leave it on rec. Yeah. Now to the left of that, you'll see a dispenser. And it'll say dispenser bypass. Yeah. Okay, with that silver switch, click it up to bypass. Yep, yeah. Okay, now that's your countermeasures all set up now. So what I usually do now is a, uh, a left, what's called the left to right sweep. So I'll go from the back left panel all the way across. So that's all set up. Uh, the oh, volume a bit. Just, just uh, to clarify, sausage. With yes, the mate. Dispenser, yeah. Uh, we've obviously cleaned up the bypass. Is that the same as like when you're in the Apache, where you have to manually then set off your phone? Yes. And that's exactly right. right yeah. They, they won't oh. automatically send, set them off. You, you no. Have to do it no. Yourself, right, you've got okay. to do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Good to that, mate. Good Okay. So, uh, left, right. So, uh, trim set. Uh, APU off. Engines up. Throttles uncranked. Uh, formation lights. I usually put them on bright. Uh, okay, so stores. Right now, if you look by uh, your left knee, you'll see like select jettison stores, switches, and your handbrake and all of that. You'll see a round silver switch with a big red jettison button inside it. Yeah. So click on the outer silver ring, uh, uh, right click on it, so it's down to stores. Okay, now up on your IFE, your fuel page, this is how you jettison stores. This is just like, you do this because like if you go into battle, you jettison your, your, your fuel tank or your bag. On the IFE page, to the left of that, you'll see jettison station select. Yes, mate, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Just, now, just, you, below, just below the DDI screen. Just below yeah, the, yeah. right below yeah. the, the DDI screen, right underneath yeah. the uh, the buttons, yeah. Uh, box CTR for center line. You get like a green triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mate. Okay. Yeah. Now what happens is when you go into battle, or if you've run out of fuel in your tank, um, you hit the red jet button, and it'll drop your drop tank. So it's not like in the 16 goose where like you have to go to a separate page on your DDI. That's how you yes. just in your bags on this. Right. Right. But okay. is, it, is it the case now, Sosh, is that? Uh, you don't have to jettison your tanks now with the F-18. You don't have to, like, but... It, it, it yeah, does, it, with the F-16, if you don't jettison them and you land and then try and refuel, it doesn't yeah. fill the bag way up. Which there was a bug, wasn't there, where, like, if, yeah. you, if, if you landed with, like, an empty bag, it wouldn't fill it if you asked for a refuel, but they fixed right. it now, so it's all right. But, obviously, jettison them is more to real life anyway, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, if you go into battle, you want to be as light and as fast as possible, yeah. so you just dump it. Yeah, right. Down, Okay, so let's go back to our screens. Now let me think. Uh, right, I'll say that's all set up. That's set up. Oh yeah. So on your right DDI, just below it is you've got your analog controls, your analog uh, dials. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but you know your artificial horizon. Have you got like a red flag on it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now on that dial in the bottom right corner, there's a round twisty knob. Just give that a twist, and it'll unlock it, and then level it off. Oh, yeah. I'll get rid of the red flag. It doesn't have to be done, but it, it comes in handy sometimes if, like, your systems go down, or your electrics go. Okay? Yeah. Right. Okay, now, on the right DDI, 
what you got to remember in the 18 is on the right of your bottom row of buttons, that middle one that says menu above it, you, you, that's, that's like your main button to switch between different like pages it can use. So it goes from menu uh, to tack, support. It just flicks between tack and support. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you go to your, we've done the FCS. So if you go to your tack page, yeah. right to the right of that, but the button next to it says EW. Yes, mate. Yeah. Just select right. that. Yeah. And that's your uh, electronic warfare. So. That, that gives you all like you know what what's in the area shit that's coming at you. Oh wow! Uh, now on uh, on the right column of buttons you'll see one that says HUD. Is that so? That's basically a copy of your W R R W R. Yeah, it is. It, that's yeah. your R W R yeah, screen. And I'll teach. I found out a neat little trick, but I'll teach you when we're up in the air and stuff. So oh, okay. to the right of that, it's yeah. <laughs> that's what I found. So just everyone in chat, I'm, I'm just doing like a tutorial lesson, so you have to bear with us. Because uh, they're all like quite new to the 18, 18 so I hope you don't join it. You know, just you might learn something. <laughs> so sorry, <laughs> on the EW page on the right hand column it says HUD. It's just box that. Yeah. And then everything that's on your RWR page will now show up on your HUD. Right. Right, okay. Now press your. One thing I did notice with the F18 sausage is that RWR screen is, is in a rubbish place. It is. Flying. You know what I mean? So having it actually yeah. up on your DDI, mate, that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, shows you where everything is. You yeah. can only put that on when the, the, the plane's up and running and stuff. Right. Okay, now right. back to that DDI. Press your menu yeah. button. Uh, back to the TAC page. Yeah. Uh, you'll see a button over on the right-hand column says SA, Situational Awareness. Yeah. yeah. Box that. It's sort of a... It's not your... Your HSI is your map page. That's what you use with all your waypoints and stuff like that. So that's got all. Oh, that's got quite a bit of information that I won't go into because it can get quite technical. But that's it. Right. When you're up in the air, um, everyone else is playing. As long as you've got your IFF switched on, uh, everyone else is playing. Will be in there like uh, Bravo, Charlie, and you can see where everyone is. Right. Now, yeah. on the top row of buttons in the middle, it says SCL slash forty. So if you flip yeah. through that, that's the scale. So that's a forty mile radius. Tw and if you click through, it goes 20 miles, 10 miles, wow. 5, yeah. and then back to 160, and then cycles back down. So, so at the moment, that, that actual screen is the same as the one in the middle at the bottom? Yes. Yeah. But it's just, right. um, it just does a little bit. It's uh, not got as much information as the uh, HSI. Right. Okay, mate. Watch no. out. So if, you, if, if, for instance, you put the scale to, like, let's say, uh, one, put it out to 160, You'll see, like, on the bottom there, you'll see, like, uh, like dashed circles with six in. Yeah. That there, there, Sam, six sites. So when oh. you're coming up to things, they show up there. So I'll just, just get it back to 40 for now. Right, okay, so... Um, things that I do as a hobby. So on, on your right thigh, where that manual override handle is... The panel, yep. to, the panel to the right is your internal lights. Now this comes in handy when you're at night or dawn or sunset. So your, your consoles, put that right the way up. Your instrument panel, put that right the way up. Uh, and your flood, floodlights is just usually at night. It lights up the cockpit, the floodlights. But the consoles and instrument panels, uh, backlights all your, all your lights. So at night, it really comes in handy. Uh, that's pretty much it. On the startup. Now, once you've done that, honestly, once you've done that four or five times, it's 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 muscle memory. It comes to you can you can. That's that's the plane ready to fly now. So have you done that without like looking at any notes or anything? Or yeah. Bloody hell. Well, it's, it's, it's just <laughs> habit, mate. You know, you do wow. honestly, you do four or five times, and you've got it. Um, does anyone set bingos in their plane for fuel? I did in the F-16, but it still didn't manage to help me much. <laughs> no, it doesn't really help me. <laughs> that's a you problem. Yeah, that's yeah, a you it's problem. Easy. Though. Well, <laughs> just in case you... Well, it, it, that's too much detail. We don't really need that, because we're, we're going to be up and down, up and down and stuff. Okay, so yeah. right, what we do now is... Let's arm up. 
So, uh, on your, get your combs off. Uh, so you've got like, your comms menu up in the top right corner. Okay, is everyone there, yeah? Right, sausage. Yeah. Right, you carry on. Uh, I got timed out, so I've got to go all it again. Oh, right, okay. So you just crack on. You timed out? Yeah, I came, yeah, I got kicked off. Oh, right, okay. I don't know why that happens. Don't like me, then. Well, just, <laughs> just, uh, just do the auto start, and then watch the stream back, and, like, you know, you'll know what you're doing then. Just one thing, sausage. I've my yes, mate. caution buttons on. Don't worry about that. Just it's because, like, yeah. If you look, you've yeah. got like um, on your left EDI in the bottom left corner. It says ADV slash skid. skid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it'll say above That's that. Right. It'll say wing unlink. It's yeah. just there. It's it's showing off the master coach to say there's some advisories. They're advisories, but we don't need to do them right. yet. Right. Okay. Okay. So on your comms menu. It's just we're, we're going to rearm refuel now. So, um, so uh, click F8 or ground crew. Yeah. Rearm refuel. I'll say you've got your panel up now. And uh, yeah, just uh, rearm refuel your page. Does everyone know how to do this? Uh, yes, mate. Yeah. Phil, you, are you familiar yeah. with this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go with Amrams and Harms. Why call me Start and Seed? Now, you might not remember this, but if you watch it back, it'll be handy. If you go to uh, Map Editor, right, and you pick one of the maps you fly, or just design yourself your own little map or whatever, just plonk yeah. into, like, an F-18, um, you can do pre-loadouts. So if you select a loadout, put it all in there, you can actually give them names. Uh, so, uh, uh, And then when you come to back into emissions like we are now, where it says select loadout in the drop down, you'll have your you'll have your loadout there all ready to go. That's quality. So I've got like a, ones I've pre-programmed are like full arm ramp, full harm seed, full J cells, uh, harm slash J cell mavs and start and seed. So I'm gonna go up with like uh, two harms and everything else is here to wear, and I've got a centre line bag uh, and the skin because I'm. Tutoring, I'll go in the uh, I'll go in the new Black Knight livery. Now you might I don't know uh, I don't know if you'll have these uh, downloaded yet, Phil. We'll have to put you on the uh, the Google Drive where all the liveries are. Yeah. Stay. Yeah. You'll, yeah. Like, you'll like those liveries, mate. You'll like those. It's yeah. David. <coughs> go ahead, Haggis. Yeah. Um, your uh, stream uh, it says it's starting. Oh. Do you know what? I haven't I taken that. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry. I've buggered that up, oh, haven't I? Totally. <laughs> oh no, I've fucking buggered that up, mate. Uh, I just noticed it when I went oh, to see you, mate. Sorry, that's my, completely my new fucking fault. That. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, okay, just for the that benefit. Me, okay. Yeah, just <laughs> cheers for the, yeah, cheers for the Harris, mate. Nice one. Okay, just for, just for the benefit of everyone who's watched that and just been watching the static screen. Uh, battery on. APU on. Engine crank right. Engine crank. Switch on. Switch on. Switch on. Switch on. And then we've done the IS align. Radar align. O-bogs on. Set the trim. Flip through these. These are the screens I'm on about the DDIs. I'm really sorry about that, everyone. That's a complete new error on my behalf. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so everyone's good to go now. Is everyone loaded and rearmed? Yeah, what's your recommend for the weapons, for the rockets? Yeah. Uh, just give us one second. Let me go to the ground crew, rearm refuel. Okay, so on station one and nine, your wingtips. Yeah. Um, if you right click, you'll get air to air missiles. Go for the AIM-9X, AIM-9 X, AIM nine X-ray. Put them on one yeah. and nine. Yeah. Okay, and stations two and eight. If you if you right click on no, uh, station two, yeah. air to air missiles, big drop down list. Now if you go down, uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay, if you go down about halfway, 
you'll see one that says LAU, they're LAU 115 with two LAU 127, AIM 120 Charlie, AMRAM, active radar. Yeah. Okay, so select that one for stations two and eight. Yeah, 120 Charlie, yeah, 120 C. Yeah. Right, now that's on stations 2 and 8. Do the same again for stations 4 and 6. Yeah. Okay, now if you right click on station 3. Go AG missile, air to ground missile. Yeah. And if you go down, you'll see AGM 88 Charlie Harm, H A R M. Okay, put one on three. Sorry? AGM Charlie Harm, high speed. Yeah, high speed anti radiation missile, yeah. Now put one of them on stations three and the same again on oh. station seven. Yeah. Cheers, Jonathan. Cheers, Goose, for the stars, mate. Sean, thanks for the stars, man. Okay, station five, right click on it. Yeah. Fuel tanks. And just the uh, FPU 8 fuel tank, 330 gallons. Okay. Yes, please. And then uh, click OK, and it'll start loading them all up. I'm all right to go full air to air, please, sausage. If you want, mate, yeah, it's up to yeah. you, yeah. Unless you're. Uh Planning to train us on the harms here? Or? Well, I could show you it, but like it's not essential. I don't know if, no. what they've been doing. Oh, okay, if they're going to be up there. <laughs> right, now. Harms are super simple to learn, Goose. Yeah, they, they yeah. really are really easy, mate, and they're really handy as well. Okay, mate, yeah, I'll have a look into that probably tomorrow or something, maybe. Yeah. Right, Goose is rearming. Okay, just give us a shot when everyone's ready. Yeah, watch out. Now, just rearm and then. Yeah, yeah. You'll get a rearm complete. Just give us a shot when that's done there, Phil. Yeah, that's it. It's just complete. Right, cool. Now, uh, get your comms menu back up again. Yeah. Go ground crew. Yeah. Wheel chocks, remove. Yeah. Remove the wheel chocks. Wheel chocks, uh, F4. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then after that, you'll get like remove or keep up or. Yeah. Okay, right. Now, the oh. one I. Oh, 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 yeah. Before we do this. Now look up on your hood, on your right hand side of the hood it'll say NWS, nose wheel steering. Yeah. Now on your joystick you've got uh, your nose wheel steering disengage button. So just press that until it says NWS high. Yeah. Yeah, roger that mate. Thank you. Right, has everyone got that, yeah? yeah. Thank you Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Cup of tea number two. <laughs> right, now the one I always, without fail, forget to do is switch the handbrake off. So, over by that jettison button that I showed you, underneath there's your handbrake, the yellow one in park. Just left click that until it just goes in. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, now I'm going to taxi round. Onto Cat One. Does, has everyone launched? Has everyone launched from a uh, from a cat? Uh -huh. uh, yes, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. Everyone take a cat then. Oh God, I've got a lot of lag there. I'm gonna spin round left onto Cat One. Roger that, mate. How do we know which what cats are numbered what? Sausage? Right. It works from right to left. So right. I'm I'm going on Cat One now. Yeah. And then I've got cat two to the left of it. Yeah. And then uh, the other two are on like the hip of the ship. 
if you know what I mean, is three yeah. and four. Now, sometimes there's a bit of a bug. So if you get planes on uh, that are hooked up on cats one, two, and three, it won't let you hook up on four because it'll say like something's blocking or right, vice okay. versa. So you just have to wait until that person's left and then like either get on cat one behind me or cat two. Right, um, right. When you've come, what, what you've got to remember is when, you, when you've gone up and you've expended all your missiles and you need to refuel and need to come back, when you've landed back on the carrier and you've rearmed and refueled, you've got to request launch again. Otherwise, you're going to right. taxi up to the cat and it's just going to stand there looking at you. So I'll take uh, I'll take cat one. Okay, should uh, I try cat, cat four or no, uh, Goose? If no. you where are you on deck? Are you like not far from I'm, me? I'm behind cat four. Right. Uh, okay. So if Phil comes up onto cat two, yep. uh, and then uh, Lenny okay. cat three, and then yeah, Goose, if you take cat four, but don't yep. worry if he lets you like he doesn't let you on. Right, okay, it might, it might say occupied. Copy that, mate. Copy. Okay, wings out. And don't forget as well right. that that high gain nose wheel steering does not work if your wings are down. Yeah, well, it does if you hold down that button that you pressed to get the high gain up. If you hold that button down, you can use high gain with wings unfolded. Yeah, so because you've loaded up four now, three probably won't be able to load up. Yeah. Because three and four, you know, competes, basically. Yeah. Right, okay. You can't use three and four at the same time. So if, like, someone's on four, three won't work. If someone's on three, four won't work. I think it's a bit of an in-game bug. How are we getting on, Lenny? Yeah, all the starts complete. Um, I'm just trying to get, you know, the bit phase. What, what do you do to get that? Right. Um, yeah, are they flashing at you? Yeah. If you've done auto start, you should have switched off. Or did you do auto start? I did auto start, yeah. Well, uh, sorry, on the, on the top row of buttons on the far right, it should say stop. Yep. So if you just press that button, it'll stop it flashing. It, well, you've got to wait until your auto starts complete. Uh, I got notification on the right hand side of the screen that it was. Oh, right, okay, sound. Um, so, have you set your trim? Uh, no. So, if uh, if you hit the bottom middle button on your right DDI, yep. so onto your support page, yep. on the right hand side at the bottom, a uh, column of buttons that says FCS. Box that and you'll get like all your trim page up. Uh, yeah. Have you have you got X's in there or is it clear? It is clear. Right. Now uh, look at them like letters uh, down the middle and at the bottom it says stab. Yeah, is it 15? Yeah, that's what you want. That's exactly what you want. So your trim's fine. So you should be all right. Yeah. Um, now have you switched on your data links and things like that? Uh, I don't think it does that with yet. the auto start. So on your UFC, yep. uh, press DL for data link, yep. and then press on to the right of it. Yep. Then press the DL button again, yep. and then on. Yep. Okay, now the button next to it, ILS to the left. Yep. Okay, box that and then type in on the UFC pad, one one, enter, and then on. Yep. And then on the TCM button, press the TCM TACAM button. Yep. It's 7, 2, enter, and then on. Yep. And then if you press your IFF, it might have already switched on, but press IFF and just yep. make sure that's switched on as well. Uh, I pressed IFF, but I've got no letters or numbers on the screen. Okay, so yeah, just press on. 
It should be on like above the keypad. It should say ah, XP. Yeah. XP. It is, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So your IFF's on. So we can see you on the on our DDRs now. Sweet. Uh, and just armor. Go see your comms uh, menu. Yeah. Ground crew and armor. Yep. Right. Now what I'll do is I'll take off, and I'll do a. I'm going to do a left wheel turn and do a 360. And just circle the carrier, keep flying over the carrier until everyone's up. So I'll take off, and then is that you on my left there, Phil? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then you take off just after me, and then whoever's on cat three, you take off. And like I said, we'll just take off, get your flaps up. So as soon as you take off and you clear the deck, press F on your keyboard for flaps, yep. and then the G key next to it for your gear, and that'll get them both up. And then, like I said, do with, we'll do like a racetrack, um, Daytona racetrack, like left wheel turn. Okay, powering up. And don't forget, you need when you're full power, you need to salute and whatnot. Okay, salute. If you taxi up to Cat 1, Lenny, you'll be able to get on yeah. that now. Make sure your nose wheel steering's in high gain. Yeah, he's gaining, he's gaining. Yeah. What height are you going to? Sorry, mate, what was that? What height are you going to? Uh, I'm just, uh, about... 1500, stick around 1500. I'm at 13 now, so. So we'll just we'll just keep uh, circling the, the carry until everyone's up. In fact, I'll just switch your smoke on steel, I can't remember. Uh, you can figure a button for it. <laughs> oh, I haven't used it for so long. I can't remember, dude, sorry. Okay. Except for my brake button. I'll figure it out in a minute, Winter. Okay, I'm coming around on the downwind. Are you coming right there, Goose? It is. Uh, Goose, you're probably going to have to spin around. Yeah, roger that, mate. Or try Cat 1. Once Lenny's taken off. Okay, where's that, mate? Yeah, that seems to be a catch up. Yes. I must have fitted the smoke. And then press F on your keyboard and then G. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I, I, I went a bit. Yeah, look at me, I'm cool. And then he went straight in the drink. Oh. No, no he's up, cool. he's up. I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm tempted.
don't you turn, Chris? No, it's not. It's uh, NWS, but it's not. It's not giving me high. So, um, well, your wings are up. It should be turning. Yeah, no, it's yeah. Heavy, uh, holding the battery on the button. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Is your um? It's the launch bar not down at the moment. Pull your launch bar up. There we go. It should work now. Yes, mate. I'm going to be next to my altitude. Uh, I'm just around 2,000 feet, just circling the carrier now. You know the actual box where it says, obviously, your altitude? I've got an R next to it. Is that supposed to be there? Yeah, it's just radar, it just means radar altitude. Oh. So you can change just between your middle DDI, there's a switch, upper grey switch called ALT, and you can switch it to barometric. Cheers, Jamie, how are you doing, mate? So you drop your wings, guys. Oh, thanks, Duval, thanks for that, mate. Trying to level up, mate. That's fine, we'll kind of help you along. Okay, watch out. Very helpful crew. <laughs> Good point, Goose. Did you bring an app to the teacher? <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Pants, thanks for the light there, mate. Gotta roll it over the watch bar. There we go. Have you got a track IR, Phil? Yeah. Alright, oh, okay. What speed are you going? Roger. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Gears up. Laps to auto. Hey, Anthony, uh, thanks for the like. Yeah, just, just keep yeah. doing a left turn. So, if you, if Phil, if you look over your left shoulder, you should see me. So I'll just I'll just nudge in front of you, and if you just follow me. Okay. I'll keep it nice. I'm gonna do like a less slow left turn, so. Cheers for that sausage. It's alright, mate. Oh yeah. Cheers, Keith, for the stars, mate. Let's pull a bit of G and get a bit of a tighter turn in. Uh three hundred and ninety knots. I'm going to pull it back to 350. How high are you at there, Sausage? Uh, two and a half thousand. Okay, okay I'm going to go level off. Swing straight. Oh, 
I've got mirrors. I'm gonna look. Okay, I'm gonna left turn into the carrier. Just fly over the deck of the carrier. Yeah, that's got to be steel. <laughs> is, it, is it steel? Is that you? He's letting off boomers. <laughs> uh, I was an afterburner above, yeah. <laughs> okay, so is everyone up in the air now? Yeah, much of that, mate. Yeah. Okay, I'm passing over the carrier in about 10 seconds, flying the same direction as the carrier. Where's everyone else to me? I know Phil's just behind me. Yeah, I'm on your Still showing off with a smoke because he, f he remembered to put it on. It's it's mandatory right for an 18. <laughs> yeah. Just Phil now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your uh, three o'clock there, sausage. I see, yeah. Okay, I'm going to start the left turn around again. Watch that, mate. Okay, what we'll do is, uh, we're going to head for uh, waypoint one, but let me just uh, come back around, and then uh, I'll show you how to put waypoints into your system. It's really yeah, easy. See, what I've actually done is, you don't know this, and you'll need a key bind for this, but you've got automatic throttle control. Think of it as a cruise control. Now, who knows how to switch that on? Anyone? Uh, right, what I've done is, I've uh, I've got my speed up to 349 knots, and then I've, I've engaged it, ATC. Then on the right-hand side of your hood, it shows up ATC. Okay, I'm going to roll out on 120 degrees and go straight. So if you can all try and, like, bunch up a bit or get a bit closer. Yeah, we'll do that, mate. Once you're all straight and going about 340, say... I'm doing 348 knots, so you can get around that. I'll get you, uh, show you how to put your autopilot on. <laughs> I tell you what, it's pretty handy still, you having that smoke on. Yeah, that's, I put it on, I thought I'd put it on myself so you can follow me as well. Yeah, good idea, that. Okay, so we'll go into autopilot just while I show you the um, the radar and how to set your waypoint. So on your USC, underneath the keypad, you'll see the first button says A slash P. Yeah. Okay, now hit that, and then on them cars, you'll, you'll see like... One that says B A L T, B A L T or BALT. Yep. Okay, press the button next to it and you'll get like a colon next to it. Yeah. Right, now, your you, plane is flying itself now. It's holding its own um, altitude. You can like take your hands off. Now, it'll disengage obviously if you, if you move your plane violently left or right. What, okay, I didn't know you that. Sorry, mate, what was that? Uh, bearing the uh, one four zero. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm probably doing about one five, uh, one one seven. One one seven. Yeah, can you see us oh, where we are? Yeah, I've got you. Probably. Oh, right, sounds yeah. Now, what well, on your right DVI is everyone in uh, altitude hold? Oh, we'll be in a second, mate. Just bear with me. It's just so we can concentrate. See, the good thing about this is when you're coming into a target, you can go what's called eyes down. So you don't have to look up, you know, if you're going up or down, whatever. Yeah, and then you can concentrate on your, your systems while you set up a bombing run. Did you say uh, speed 350 there, Sausage? I'm doing 348. Right, it doesn't matter just as long as you don't hit me. And we're all, so, <laughs> so, and the we're all, we're all sort of together. Yeah, yeah. As long as you can see us, that's fine. Now, uh, you all know what your soy switch does, don't you? It sw swaps between screens. You know how to do that? Uh, your yeah. sensor select yeah, switch? Yeah. Right. Now, here's a little handy trip, trick. 
Now, you know your, your center, uh, center screen, your MPCD, oh, or your DDI. Yeah. Now, if you press down on your sensor select switch, you'll get the little diamonds in the top right corner. Yep. Now, if you press it again, it'll switch between your HSI, which is your, 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 your map and where all your waypoints are, and it'll switch between that and your SA page. It only works on that uh, DDI. It doesn't work on any others. Just that one. Um, also, if you if 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 your stick's in the way, I always remove the stick. So if you look at the uh, the base of the stick, you'll see like um, where it goes into the plane. If you click on that, it'll make your stick disappear. Or press the backspace key on your keyboard, and it'll make the uh, your, your your joystick disappear. So you can see all that middle bit. Now that's just a personal preference with me, that. Right, okay. Is everyone okay now, yeah? Yeah, roger. Right, yeah. what we'll do is we'll set the waypoint one. So on your right DDI, bottom yeah. row of buttons, hit where the menu button is until you get to the support page, SUPT. On the left column of buttons, you've got HSI. So box that up, get your HSI up there. Yep. Now, on the right-hand side, top button, it says WYPT for waypoint. Yep. Then below that, you've got an arrow up. Below that, you've got an arrow pointing down. Yep. Hit the arrow up till it's on one. So do we box the waypoint? Yeah, wait, knock it up to one and then box the waypoint button. OK. okay. Now, if you look yeah, at your head and you go back to your, up to your hood, and look at your head and tape. Off to the left, you'll see the little marker. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn left until I've got that uh, thick marker on the chevron or the arrow, you know, the uh, bracket arrow pointing up. Just uh, above you guys. Roger. So it's a nice little 30 degree turn until we get that waypoint marker on. Now you'll get more information on your hood there. You'll see in the bottom right, you'll see uh, mine says 221.1 uh, W1. That's like 220 miles to waypoint one. That's your distance. Okay. So just get that little marker right in the middle of that arrow pointing up. Okay. So we're all on track now. We all know where we are. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay. So if you flick to uh, on the bottom screen, I don't know what screen you've got. You've got HSI and the SA. If you get the SA page up yep. and scale it into about scale five, so we're all quite close. Now you should see all your information there of of the planes. So I've got I've got Bravo off to my left, and then behind them I've got Delta and Charlie. So that's all of us, basically. They're friendly planes. So the circle with the line pointing up that's a friendly plane. Obviously, if a, if a, if an enemy comes in, it'll be a red diamond. So the what? Sorry. That? That's that's on your SA page. So what what you can do is now we now on your right yeah. DDI now we've set that you can actually get your SA page up on that screen if it's easier to see. Yeah, I've got that. But like when we switch our IFF switch on at the start up, that makes your make sure you're identified and you can see everyone else. So if you're ever lost, you can always like use this SA page to find where everyone else is. That's basically yeah. Sweet. And there's your first lesson. Thank you That's all right. Much. It's all right. Now let me just have a look at the uh, the map. See, we're all still f flying quite nice and grouped up there. Okay, so I can see some enemy MIGs. So do you want to try a little uh, air to air? I'll talk you through the air to air section. Yes, yeah. mate. Yeah. Right. Okay. So over on your left DDI to the left, you've got your master arm switch. 
get your master get your master arm on and then uh, click the AA button so your AA is lit up now, have you got? Has everyone got the stores page up on their right? Uh, sorry, left DDI. Yes, yeah. mate, I have. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, top row buttons. It says size, medium. So make sure you click that button until it says. Uh, if you click that button, you'll get like a list: small, medium, and large. Yeah. So box small, because we're going to be going for small planes. Oh, so wait. So, wait there. So, you have AMRAMs? Have you got AMRAMs? Yep, I've got AMRAMs, B and C, and 9X. Okay. Well, uh, on, on that same screen, on the bottom row buttons, hit the bottom middle one, so you know where you flick through for your attack page and your support page. Yeah. Click onto your attack page. Yeah. Top left, it says stores. Yeah. Hit that button. Is it, is it there now? No. no. Right. Now, on that left column, you'll see auto and man for manual. Box manual. And do you get it now? It should say... On your stores page, Yeah. on the left-hand side, you should have auto as the first button, and the second one down says man for manual. I've got nothing like that, right? Uh, I is it? ADV, yeah, ADV, and SB arm over, right? Are you in air-to-air? Have you got your master arm switch on? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And you've got uh, your air-to-air -air switch above that switched on? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's weird. That is weird. And you've selected AMRAM missiles, you're not on sidewinders? Uh, well, I'm on sidewinders at the minute. Uh, select change the AMRAM. uh, yeah, right. change the AMRAMs. Yeah, it should come up with uh, AC, like, 8 or AC10. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, in your head. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Shut up, Goose, shut up. <laughs> so, <laughs> on, on the top, I can see a nose of an airplane in my window. Oh, there you are still. Uh, right, like, okay. So, so, yes, size, no, size, small. Uh, and then you'll, you'll, you'll see RCS. So if you box that and make that small also. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now over to your right DDI. Click the menu button until you're on the attack page again. Yeah. And then on the left column of buttons, second one down, attack radar or RDR attack. Yeah. Get that up. Now, this is the trick I've recently learned that saved me in air to air. I couldn't hit shit because uh, the the, uh, the updated it and they made the radar like a real life thing and it's just pain. But on your attack radar page, bottom row of buttons on the right side it says data. Yep. Right now, yep. box that. Right. Yep. Now on the top row of buttons on the far right, you'll see a button that says four underneath it. Okay, now just keep pressing that until it says, I think you press it three times until it says 32. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. what this is, is when you pick up um, a signal, or you, when you pick up a track on your radar, um, it, it holds that track for four seconds until it refreshed. Now, when that plane starts going up and down, you'll lose track. So I was locking things up and then I'd lose track straight away. Um, and it was really annoying, and I c couldn't lock anything up for longer than four seconds. Now, what, by switching it to 32, it holds it in its system memory for 32 seconds before it ups. See, so it's constantly updating, um, but it refreshes every 32 seconds instead of every four. So it just it saves you. So after you've done that and made it 32, go back to that data button and then unbox it. Now you set up air to air now. And the other thing that had me was radar elevation. Uh, that's going to be on you on where you where you set that. Um, I've actually got it on my throttle as like a flappy paddle. Um, so if you're looking at attack radar 
on the left side of the of the uh, of the graph chart you'll see like a little chevron that's like in the middle but popping around that is your radar elevation um, symbol so if you're fly like we're flying at 2,000 feet if the enemy are at 20,000 feet um, it's probably better if you make that pay if, if you make that screen so so make that screen so now and you'll get your little box that you can move around to track things right now that yellow box that you can move around that's where you're pointing your radar the top number is the altitude how high it's looking up and the bottom number is how low it's looking down so mine's looking 8,000 feet up and 3,000 minus 3,000 feet now over on the right side of column of buttons you've got an arrow up and an arrow down and it should be by default set to 40 mile range you can actually push that out to 160 and as you push it out obviously that little like uh, yellow TDC it's called the TDC the tar target designator control switch if you push out to 160 you should be able to pick up the enemy in the distance ah. yeah, got it. now instead it, sorry mate it's all right. Well, just uh, click the bottom middle button again. That flicks through the pages, and then on the attack page, it's on the left-hand side. It says R D R attack, yeah. and then you'll get it back. Yeah, got it. Okay. So if you, if you move, you gotta be there's a, there's a little like trick to this as well. Now, if you move that yellow box right the way up to the top and then back in, it'll range out your radar. And vice versa, if you move that yellow box, box all the way down to the bottom and then quickly back in, you'll move your radar range in. It saves you pressing them arrows up and down. Uh, right. Hey, yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Okay, now, if you can see, like, you should be able to start picking things up. Well, you might pick up the, the MIGs on your radar. If you can see the MIGs or, like, a red diamond see I've lost them now uh, if you move your TDC slew which is that yellow box if you move your TDC over it it'll tell you how high it is the enemy and then what you can do is it's saying it's 15 so there are 15,000 that are traveling like left to right and that radar elevation you can move that up uh, so it matches so as long as like what their height is is within the range of your yellow box your TDC box you shouldn't lose lock now what you need to do now is and this is really quite handy on the right hand on the left hand side button left column of buttons on that screen it says RWS yep. that's called range while search if you press that it'll switch to TWS track while search Scan. Track while scan, sorry, yeah. Now what this is this is handy for is when you're when you've got like more than one bandit up there, with your TDC slew switch, the, the yellow thing, get it over you've got to be within usually forty miles of the target though. Get that yellow box over it and then press down on that switch, your TDC switch, and it'll lock them up. And because you're in TWS mode if you move your switch to the second plane and then press it, it'll store it in its memory. Is it four you can hold up to st uh, steel? Um, I'm not sure. It could be four, yeah. Yeah, and what you can do is then you I can don't... lock up four. Or so I, th I think it might just be two, so just stick with two for now. But if you lock the first one up with lead, that's your main lock. And then if you do the same with the second plane and TDC depress, it'll store that, that one. And then what you can do is, you can fire on the first one, and then with your nose wheel disengage button that you use for your high gain, if you press that once, it'll flick to the second one, so you can flick between them. It's like with the 16 goose, you, uh, you just keep pushing up, don't you, yes, on that right, nipple yeah. button. Yeah. Well, that, that's how you do it in the horny, but it's got to be in t uh, Twiz mode, TWS.
track while scan. Right, can you just say again what you press to lock them up? Yeah, well, do you know your sleep button that you're using to like move that yellow box around? Yeah. Now, it should be on like an axis on like the, the button you're using, you should be able to like click down. Can you click down yeah. on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the lock. You click down and it locks. The thing is, you won't be able to lock until you're within about 40 miles of it. It won't let you lock. Right. What, what's that thing? What was it called? The, uh, the control? It's a, a Tarzik de designator control. Let me just double check that. TDC depress, maybe? Yeah, TDC depress. But you don't have to like store yes. the targets to be able to swap between them either. You can just use the was it the nose wheel steering button, whatever. You just flick through whatever is um, in front of you as well. But yeah, it's called a throttle designated controller. Right. Okay. Got you. It's like an Xbox controller. Okay, so we're quite low here, so what we're going to do is, they're starting to fly towards us now. Let's take it up to about maybe 20,000 feet. So if you press A on your keyboard, that disengages all your autopilots. I'm going to like throttle up, and then let's take it up to 20,000 feet. 10 degree climb on your pitch ladder, on your hood. Oh, shit me tea. <laughs> oh, another good thing about autopilot as well. Um, where that B alt was, there's one called ATT H, which is called Attitude Hold. So if you press that when you're in a climb, it'll keep you in that attitude. You'll keep climbing until you disengage it. And then couple mode. And coupled mode, yeah, it follows your waypoints, doesn't it? That's the best one. Oh. It's like a proper autopilot that takes you to your waypoint. Yeah. Cheers, Anthony, for the stars, man. Appreciate that. Keith, sorry missed that, but thanks for the stars as well. Okay, rolling out at Angels 20. Okay, I'm watching my attack radar, so these bogies are about uh, 90 miles out. Hot. Okay, pass. Allow me to lock them up yet, though. No, you'll only be able to lock them when you're about 40 miles out. You'll be able to track them and see how high they are and adjust yeah. your radar. Um, but you won't be able to lock them until they're about 40 miles. So obviously, you have to get closer. When they pass the halfway uh, uh, on your attack radar, when they get about halfway down it or 80 miles, bring yeah. your range in on your radar. And same again when when they're at 80 mile r range radar, and you get to about 40, bring it in again. Right, well, oh shit! I'm mate. fucking really high there. Okay, I'm up at like 23. <laughs> Is everyone with me so far? Yeah, I'm at 20. Right. Yeah, I'm at 21. Okay, I'm bang on 23,000 here. Okay, so I think they've spotted us and they're coming at us. They're at 36,000 feet. My radar's scanning that far as well. So the max height on my radar is 44,000, and the minimum is 1,000. I've got a, a symbol on my radar, so she's not, not seen before. Yeah? Like a part, well, like a, part of a box with a dot in the middle. Like a U with a dot in the middle. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, it's yes. Now, it's yeah, that's the tanker. That's our tanker. That. When it's yellow, it doesn't know what it is. When it's green, right. it knows it's friendly. Roger, mate. Roger. Obviously, when it's red, it's the enemy. Okay, I've just scaled into 80 miles, so the he's definitely seen us. Who's that out in front? Uh, that's me, goose. Uh, yeah, it's goose. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's, that's me, goose. Yeah. 
What, what, your wife's gonna have, some, have something to say about that. <laughs> Does everybody know what their uh, countermeasure switch is? And how to release them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Comes in quite important. <laughs> Comes in quite handy. Have we got any uh, like sun sites to worry about this way? Or? Only at waypoint one, but that's miles away. like the leader's coming in all by himself. Yeah, he's got like three trailing behind him, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, basically, I'm, I'm the beta, my boys. Well, you shut off. <laughs> <laughs> if you do a 360, you can catch up with us. We can go out as a group, but if, if you... Yeah. If, tell you what, you shoot at the lead and then break left and come back past us. Alright, we'll do that, mate. Now, the trick to firing Amrams that I've found is I wait until, like, they're about 25 miles hot. If they launch, obviously, you launch and get out of there. Yeah. But yeah. I launch one Amram. Wait about three or four seconds and then launch another AMRAM and then a break off. Right, okay, mate, watch that. And if you've been fired on, get low. Dive down, get low. Get between the mountains or something yeah. and set off your flares. Okay, I've got a minute of like 37 miles. So you, you can do air to air, can't you, Goose? I think so, mate, yeah. I've, I've yeah. tried it, yeah. Once you've got him boxed off, you know, you'll know where he is, isn't that? Just make sure your radar elevation's in the right place. Yeah, we'll do that, mate. So when he turns yellow, that means you can lock him. Roger. Yeah, I have a bandit Angels 32. Roger. Padlocked. Engaging. Box three. Okay, I'm going to go for the number two behind him. They're all quite bunched in together there, by the way. Box three. Goose going defensive. Okay, I'm going to go full burn and go after them. The second one, yeah. and then I'm going to break off. 12 miles. Fox three. Fox three. Okay, breaking left and away. Splash. Good kill, mate, good kill. I keep locking on a friend. Yeah, if you press it undesignate, it'll unlock it. I think, I think you've got uh, me locked. So that nose wheel steering button. There you go. Right, I'm just going to go into a, an orbit. I, I really need to go to the toilet. <laughs> let's get a let's get a steady. Okay, autopilot. Altitude hold. Altitude hold. Right, I'll be back in one second, chaps. Let me just. Uh, Harry, is it? There we go. Back in one second.
So this last one's still alive. Yeah. Box three. Coming over the mountain, is anybody going to engage him? He's on me, I'm going to shoot him. Yeah, yeah sorry, it was just too close for comfort. I'll splash there still. Yeah. Yeah, good kill, mate. Good kill. Splash three. Well, I'm low on fuel. No surprises there. <laughs> uh, what's your fuel stay? Uh, I'm on 1700 pounds. Oof. Okay. Them carrier landings. Oh, yes. I think I'll make it. Uh, 1700. Always not. I get used to it, man. Just practice, practice, practice. Um, if you guys. I do want to turn back. Let's see. Heading for the carrier. It's about 2 5 <coughs> 6 to 7. Right, back in. So, uh, uh, oh. all, all bandits are down, sausage. Well, Jack, where is everyone? To me. To me, to you. Right old Phil. Uh, okay. People are uh, down low on fuel. Oh right. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Because they didn't pack three bags. Ah. I'm down to four. That's loads. <laughs> um, okay. So you're on to waypoint one there. Do you know how to use the harms, Phil? No, I don't really. Right. Really quite easy. So you're all set off for waypoint one. You're flying towards it now. Yeah. How many miles out are you? 45. Right, okay. Now, the air to air button that you switched, which is by your master uh, master arm, yeah. hit the AG button, air to ground. Yeah. Now, on that DDI page, you should have, like, you know, the stores page with, like, on the top row buttons, you'll see uh, the first one says harm underneath it. Yeah. Okay, press that. And then on the left side, you should uh, have SP boxed. And then beneath that, you've got TOO and then PB. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, not so bad, mate. Now, box TOO, target of opportunity. Yeah. Okay, now keep, f and then keep flying towards waypoint one. Yeah. Okay. Now that is your that's your harm target page. Now that's up. You still have like a little cross in the middle. Yeah. And it's all pretty blank. Is there anything showing up on it? Yeah. There's no. like a little box that says six. Uh, you might not see. Yeah. Cause, go on. Sorry. Station seven. I suppose. Yeah. Just station seven. Yeah. That means the the harm that's on station seven. That's the yeah, one that's okay. active. Just came up. Right. Now make that screen that DDI uh, soy uh, by uh, you know doing your uh, sensor select switch over so you got the diamonds in the top right the top right yeah. now 
you know which one your cage on cage button is? Yes, yeah, says H off. Oh. That's hand off. Right, that means you've got it locked. Okay. Yeah. Now, when I fire harms, I tend to fire harms about like 22 miles away from the target. Yeah. Unless he fires at me. And you'll get that warning when he starts firing at you. Um, now, if you, do, if you fire too far away and you turn away, the, uh, the SAM site will stop tracking you which means he'll switch his radar off and your harm missile will lose its track and won't know where it's going. So you sort of, it's called, it's called Wild Weasel. You sort of like play cat and mouse with it. Make sure it's switched on while your harm's going in. Now at about 22 miles, that should be fine. But as soon as you fired, call Magnum, the, the, um, the, brev the brevity is called Mag you know, like Magnum, like a Fox, Fox 2, Fox 3. For harms, it's Magnum. Turn about maybe 90 degrees off target, uh, just so he keeps tracking you. See, I've got pullback. Yeah. Now he's yeah. locking me. Yeah, he's locking me as well. Yeah, watch your mile. Uh, 21. Right, fire. Yeah, okay. Turn 90 degrees. Turn 90 degrees, yeah. Now, if, if that beeping gets really fast, he's fired at you. So start dumping chaff. Not flares, chaff. Now, I don't know if you know this, but if you press F6 on your keyboard, you'll get the view of the missile. And that's how easy it is to use a harm missile. So easy. How are the other two, uh, Broadsword and Goose, getting on? Yeah, fine, I think, yeah. Mate, all good. They use heading back to the carrier. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it, mate. I've got like 950 pounds worth of fuel there. Well, uh, I might be uh, punching out in a bit. Right, now it's gone a little bit long. Oh no, you've got it. You hit it. I got it. Yeah, you got it. Right. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well done. Have you landed the 18 before? Sorry? Have you landed an 18 before? Yeah, but not on right. the car. Well, not on the car there, but what, what, what does your fuel say? My fuel, uh, 5-0-1. Sorry, say again? Oh, you got loads. Um, well, we'll just we'll head back to uh, Gudata. So if you just bear with me for one minute, I'll find out what waypoint that is. Uh, briefing. If you ever want to know, uh, when I do maps, I always, um, in the briefing page, put in what waypoints they are. So uh, we need Gudata. Or maybe you could, yeah. So, if you go to your HSI page, yeah. uh, put in waypoint six. So on the right column of buttons, click it up to six. Yeah. And make sure waypoint's boxed. Yeah. Okay. Now that's the friendly airbase to land and re rearm and refuel at. So just head there. Watch your miles for that. Uh, it's 109. Right, okay. As a rule of thumb, just try and keep. I think what I what I judge is like cruise speed as well, 350 knots. And I'll uh, I'll try and join up. Who's well, I can't remember who Bravo is. What's your height? Uh, so Goose is close to me, um, and close to Godot. I'm 22,000. 22,000, right, okay. 
I'm gonna try and link up with you. So you just keep flying straight to uh, the waypoint. Deal, you couldn't throw out a tow rope, could you, mate? Um. Please. <laughs> I love you a long time. I see, I see um, Ramadan Dollar. I see Ram Rambo's uh, fuel management uh, is working well. Let's <laughs> get close now, get close. You'll get an F 18, Phil going past you at speed in a minute. Just don't worry, it's me. Are you there, Lenny? Testing, testing, one, two, three. He, he might have stepped off for a second. Sorry, uh, the wife came in for work, so I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> it's alright. I was just asking how you get done, that's all. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, you know, without sounding like... It's like when somebody says they have to go practice first before they go flying with you. It's like, no, it's the other way around. It's complete, yeah. Like, s set up your keys and then come fly with me. Yeah. And well, teach you everything you need to know in an hour. But, yeah, like, I mean, even, even the setup, you know, you're doing that stab. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've never done that before. It's also so. with the weight of the plane when you're taking off, yeah. Yeah. No, I've learned loads, man. No, it's good. It's good. I'm doing a bit of language shit. Oh, if you like to film, fine with other, other people, innit? I like people on you. It is. It's, it's especially when you've got steel on your wing as well, and he's like reading the letters on the side of your missile. <laughs> trying to get my trousers off, off the top of See, that's the beauty of the. Um, the 18 as well. When you're flying, you don't need to do your trim. Oh, you just like hit your autopilot and put and box that BL, and it'll trim out for you and fly straight. Uh, and then if you if you've got like your waypoint box, do you have to be um, in sequence mode there still to use couples? No. No. So like you when just you press like like big waypoint six and press couple, and then it yeah. goes. Yeah. That's what oh. it is. Yeah. So if you. Uh, Cheers, Jamie, mate. Thanks, John, for the like there, mate. If you hit uh, autopilot and then put uh, bu uh, colon B alt, and then at, uh, the bottom one says CPL for couple. Yeah. If you box that, you're playing it, just fly to that waypoint. You can just like go make a cup of tea, whatever. Excellent. <laughs> Almost there, Goose. Yeah, I've literally just lost power. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So close. So. Yeah, I, I, can I, can, I can teach you lots of things, but field management, <laughs> that's all you, that. Yeah. Have you got your floaties? Yeah, I've got a bit of float on. Start yeah. blowing them up, eh? So do a, try and do a dirt landing. Main thing is, have you got your whistle? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's what they use on an uh, airliner. More than a whistle, mate. The whistle's not going to save your life, though, is it? Well, when you pull your life preserver, like a Donald Duck comes out, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. What speed are you doing, Phil? I'm doing 3, 4, 8. Roger. <laughs> I'm going to try and come up and get on your um, your left wing. Watch. I've got no control at all then, it just wouldn't lift up at all. If, if your engine's got out, you've got no chance. Yeah. Man. Absolutely no chance. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. See, a, a good mode for the harms as well is, uh, you know, which I've just showed you the TOO mode. Yeah. A good mode is PB, pre-briefed. Yeah. Um, and I've got like a kneeboard page 
that's got all the codes for all the SAM sites. So like, yeah, I think the SAM 6 is 108, so what you do is you go into your UFC, you program for that missile 108, and you can fire your missile from 55 miles out at height. And then uh, as long as you go in and make sure it switches on, your missile, like, your missile will remain off until it's within like five miles, and it'll switch its radar on, and it'll look for that specific target. Is that you that's just spawned on that cat there? Right? It's my yeah. Oh, yeah. I managed to do that. Hey, Sean, thanks for the stars, man. Do you want to stick some harpoons on it? I'll teach you how to use them. That, that normally doesn't go well, so just respawn again. Yeah, okay, mate. Especially if you spawn in on the cat, yeah, it's a nightmare. It won't take off. Because you spawn in on the cat with your chocks on. It won't let me choose a different uh, slot, though. Yeah, uh, pick a different plane and then go back to it. Oh, okay. Are you using like a ear, a headset there, Phil? Yeah. You should be able to hear me coming up behind you now. Then. Oh, that's better. I'll be on your left oh, shoulder. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. I can, can you see see you yeah, yeah. there, you guys? Sure, that's a hand wave and not the V's, mate. No, it is a hand wave. Well, oh, 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 after your comment yeah. yesterday, it should be the V's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh get works. over it, mate. Get over it. I'll tell you what, if you see two cheeks getting pressed up against the hood, then yeah. <laughs> I'll, know that's you. I'll know that's you, Lenny. You have got a name for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the Arse Master. Must be strong and do. Yeah, just throttle off. Good there, Jed. Looking good, mate. Cheers, yeah, like I said, the good thing to have is your ATC, your automatic throttle control. Yeah. If you get that key bounce, you, you're golden. So what is that? Just set your, your, your speed at one. Yeah, it's one just speed then, yeah. Oh, whatever, whatever speed you're doing when you switch it on, it holds it. Ah, so that's good for your like formation front line as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you get like someone like the if the lead plane is in barometric altitude hold yeah. or B alt and yeah. an ATC, he's basically just rock steady and you can like get as close as you want to him. Right. So that that's why it still looks so good then, it's because basically you're doing everything you need to do to make him look good. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I make him look good. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously don't forget, oh forty three miles, okay, uh, nineteen hundred pounds of fuel. If you didn't have to burn it, you burn shit loads of fuel. Yeah, I'll vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget to come out of that? Uh, yeah, so the thing is with the um, F-18 compared to the F-16, obviously I got used to preserving the fuel in the F-16, so I knew like what fuel flow I needed to use, and obviously on the um, F-18 it's not as... I don't, I don't know what sort of fuel flow to use, if you know what I mean. Just try and keep it out of afterburner, really. Um, yeah, norm normally anything, yeah, anything out of afterburner. Yeah, I've just been good. There's a thing called your F Pass page. I'll show you that one other night as well, which is your fuel page, and it gives you like range and all of that, uh, and it gives you like a suggested height for like certain ranges. Yeah, because I've noticed that when you like you're obviously thrusting and you're coming off off the throttle. You, you got like two little gauges that like sort of yeah, up and down. That's right. Yeah, you keep them yeah. needles level and at the top, and then you're out of afterburner. Uh, it's right, usually okay. around like ninety eight percent. Right, Roger. Uh, oh shit, my fuel's low. I don't believe it. What's your fuel at there, Phil? Right, mine's getting pretty low, so I'm gonna have to like uh, start dropping in. So I'm just gonna cut across your nose and then drop down. Okay, just rearming, refueling. What are you going for, arms? Uh, you. Yeah, I suppose I can cut the arms, can I? Do they have to be on your? Uh, was it pylons three and three and seven? Or? You can have them on the. Um, 
uh, you can have you can carry four harms. And that's the throttle back. Wow. I'm getting dangerously low on fuel here. Yeah, you can have one, uh, six. Obviously, for we're in the Caucasus here, and we, we usually pl fly this map on uh, bad yeah. weather, so you can't see shit under, you know, under 9,000 feet. <laughs> so just remember, there's lots of mountains. Yeah. <laughs> if you're there bitching, Betty saying it, pull up, pull up. Listen to her. Yeah. I don't know if I like, uh, fuel manager here, I'm getting quite low. Can I drop my bag? No, I'm not. Master arm on. Drop me back. There it goes. Oh yeah, you can only drop your fuel bag when your master arm is on, by the way. Oh yeah. Pepsi, thanks for the stars there, mate. How comes Pepsi's not playing with us tonight? He's recording music tonight. Alright. Okay, I'm 14 miles out. Uh, I'm going to leave me flat to the last minute. So when you're coming into land, down by your jettison button, to the left of it is your flaps. They should be setting out to auto. Yep. I usually just uh, click them, left click once to half. Losing a bit of speed here. Right, Phil, are you okay if I land after sausage? Because I've got 1400 pounds. Yeah, I'll circle around. Okay. Thank you, mate. Are you boys coming in on the carrier, yeah? Like no, the carrier? we're landing at uh, Gudata. Oh, yeah, oh, right, okay. Quite excited. Oh, is it Kutazi? I think it's Gudata. I was going to have to swing out left and come in from the sea because uh, we're coming in uh, perpendicular to the runway. I got the runway. Fuel 1300. Chess would like there, Keith. Flaps down. Do you put your flaps down full? No, just a half. Just half. A lot of people do do full, but for some reason I only do half. I find if you do full, the nose shoots up. Right. Okay. I think you sp when you're landing on the carrier, you are supposed to have them full. It's just the way I'm used to it. What speed do you normally touch down at? I don't know. I'm usually, I'm usually watching the runway. <laughs> like 160 I'll, I'll, is yeah. a safe speed. About 160. Okay, okay turn it in. Gear down. Right, I'll jump back in the other channel. See how I get on. Would you that, mate? Okay, turn into final. Oh, when you put your gear down, and I've done it wrong there, try and make sure you're underneath uh, two, about 260 knots. Because you can rip the doors off your landing gear if you're going too fast. Okay, right, 260. Now, here's where you. Ooh, fucking hell, Jeff. Here's where your trim comes in. Now, when your gear's down, you'll get what's called the E bracket show up on your hood. Keep your velocity vector, it reaches your little airplane. Keep the left wing tip in the middle of that E. Whoa, what's going on? I'm coming up way too fast there. I've got, you know, feel for a go around now, so. I 
But one thing I have forgotten as well, when you land on the ground... Hang on, I can't... Uh, your anti-skid needs to be on. And that's a switch, which is just underneath your flaps switch. Or you end up doing uh, a handbrake turn like I've just done. Okay, runway green. Runway green, Roger. No, oh, wow, skid. he's even oh. got a black knife at the bottom of the air brake. Has he? Yeah, that's awesome. Attention to detail, mate, innit, eh? It's the little things, isn't it? <laughs> that bit here, bro, because it's like a black knife. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> what a guy. He's a legend, isn't he? He's a legend. <laughs> oh, I need to see that. Uh, Burn is on. Salute. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Right, it's a better free feel before the plane shuts down. Who's his airborne? Ears up. Request refueling. Request rearming. So sorry, yeah, it's about 160 knots touchdown. Make sure your velocity vectors in the middle of that E bracket. That's even more important when coming into the carrier, your angle of attack. Because yeah, either side of it, and then um, your hook will either bounce off as you touch down, or it just won't reach you. Are you able to rearm and refuel there, sausage? Yes. Yeah. Who's yeah. turning to bear in 088? Final. Yeah. Is this your first flight on the 18, Lenny? Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, this is my first successful. I've got a landing yet, so hang on. Well, well, it's, it's quite a hard plane. It's not like the 16. It's not as fragile. You can like, you can't slam it in there. A landing in a Hornet is basically a controlled crash. <laughs> no, honestly, that's what they say. I did, I did notice I've been like watching your streams. The way you go in is very steep when you're coming to land. Yeah. And well, they reckon that that like a real real pilots actually you always land on runways the same as they do on carriers. Yeah. So keep used to sort of like landing in that way. So, yeah. And the way the way you do it in the Hornet as well is uh, when you're coming into a carrier. Yeah. You don't. Uh, you can turn left and right to get you on the path, but if you need to go up and down, don't pull up on the stick or pull down. Use your throttle. Right. Yeah, right, okay. Lim is down. He is, Ooh. yeah. Well done, mate. Well done. Well stopped, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if you press, no, if you press more than one button, Lenny, Lenny, if you press more than one button, it won't recognise the brake. So make sure, like, you just take fingers off other things, and then there right. you go. Take your finger out your nose. You, 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 can't, you can't press three buttons at once. I've learned that the hard way many a time. Or <laughs> well, if you've got more than one screen, don't put your cursor on the second screen. <laughs> there you go, Phil. You look all right there. Just, um, yeah, you're doing all right. Yeah, you're doing fine. It's a nice long runway, so... Phillips a bit, a bit a dark horse, you know. You'll be an ace in no time. <laughs> Here you go. Now, mate, well done. Make sure you throttle to idle, so right back, and then uh, hit your brakes. Yeah, because I always, I always forget that auto skid button, and I end up like just snaking all over the runway. Yeah, I've done a few hand clip turns. Yeah, I actually got, I've done that many. I got quite good at it. 
So yeah, if you just taxi to the end, then that's where we are. Oh, aye, aye. Oh, yeah, yeah, your nose wheel get steering with, like, locked. You gotta be really careful when it sometimes it can lock in, like, your four by ten. Yeah, and you go, yeah. like, straight, like that. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, sorry. Oh, keep moving, keep moving. If you keep moving, you won't bog down. No. It's all right, mate. I'm gonna have to go, mate, because I'm up at half five. Oh, right on, mate. Right, right, I better shoot, mate, but thanks very much for tonight. That's alright, mate. Yeah, night, Lenny. Sure, Take care, Yeah, you too, guys. Take it easy. Take yeah, it easy, mate. mate. Shut up. Request rearming. Rearming complete. Uh, Sasha, I think you need a screenshot of that air brake. Uh, uh, yeah, I was just going to do that. I'm just uh, me ground crew taking the time rearming and refuel. Request rearming. Oh, I'm just taking from the carry. I'm going to head your way, sausage. Roger. I'm a little way out from you guys, though. Let's have a look around. Now, so just hold in your nose wheel steering button for the high gain, or just fold up your wings and it'll kick in automatically. I think they've taken the SAM site up on there, Kras. Yeah, they've worked on that. Weird how they give you an option. For nose wheel steer on the F eighteen, like with the high end. Yeah, it's 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 because it's, cause it's carrier based and there's like yeah, uh, there's like no room and stuff. But they're like the F 16s like in effect like high all the time. Yeah. Weird. Right, how far is that? Hundred and fifty miles. How familiar are you with DCS, Phil? How long have you, how long have you been playing it? I've, I've been playing it about four months. Right. Do you know how to use maps and things like that? Yeah, uh, well, I've been on the maps, press F10. Yeah. Because there's like handy little, well, I always use like the mileage tool. You know, if you want to go somewhere, use the mileage tool. Yeah. <laughs> You know how to use the like the ruler and that as well on the F10 map. Yeah. Yeah. The, the bearings and the distance. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know how to use that for ages. <laughs> I think Sosh told me how to use that one. Yeah, as well, Andy. I think that's the thing I use the most. <laughs> do you use uh, Well, sorry. Do you know how to rearm and refuel? Yeah, I've rearm and refuel. Well. I'll Yeah, well, I was saying earlier, mate, that you need to think of a, uh, a call sign for uh, Philip. Oh, no, he, he picks what he likes. That's true. Um, Maver right. Maverick, maybe? Or, or, or we just give him a week or two and see what um, what happens. <laughs> uh, let me see uh, briefing. Who's uh, Toto? Um, I think he's been on the Discord channel for quite a while. Yeah, a Anthony Maidment, I think his uh, name is on the Discord channel. Ah, right. Saw him yeah. today and he said he might uh, join us tonight, but. Um, yeah. So, a couple of things to remember, Phil, when you've, you know, when you've landed and rearmed, uh, you need to reset your trim. Uh, I, can't, I always forget it. So just what I do is uh, just uh, push down on that reset button, hold it down for a couple of seconds, then hit the nipple button again. Go to your uh, FCS page on your right DDI, which is on your support page. 
and then that again. so on your uh, right DDI yeah. if you hit the, uh, the bottom middle one which is like the ones that flick through all the pages yeah. go yeah go to support the support page yeah. then on the right column of buttons at the bottom you got the FCS button yeah. Uh, and then get your stab trim to about 15. I always forget that, and then when you take off, sometimes when you take off, the, the plane just wants to go vertical. Or it goes vertical and you just can't keep the nose down, and no matter what you try, it just kill, tries to kill you. How come we've got no haggis tonight? Must be busy work. He sounded rough, is he? Ill. Is he ill again? Oh, he came on and he sounded pretty rough. Sounded the same to me. Rough. Nice. <laughs> 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 um, and then, Phil, we all have a board number. We always use, I see, you see you've got a 120, I don't know if that's what you, your plane came with or whatever. Um, I think that's what it came with. Yeah, so Sashi's like 202, I'm 022, Goose is 069, etc. So, yeah, pick a number for yourself as well, and then, yeah, call sign. Call sign and a number. It's like right. Jed ended up with Budgie because always has birds screaming in the background. Yeah, he's, he's got a pet budgie and that's just like when we're in chat. He's just like, oh, your face is budgie. And him shouting I don't even him. think it's a budgie. I think it's, it's like a cocktail. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I just ended up calling him budgie. So <laughs> that's unfortunate. But um, so I suppose pick a call sign before one gets picked for you. He's <laughs> 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 a word of caution. Yeah. Yeah, especially when Steel's about. What? Yeah. Yeah, just get your fuel to a hundred. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll we'll head towards waypoint four with the harms again. Well, there's more harm sites up there. It's 157 miles, but it give like takeoff practice and formation practice. Well, you just fly straight and I'll it's formation practice for me really. Usually, like I, I'm in the lead, so I just don't do nothing. So I never get a chance to practice. Have you figured out your smoke button yet? So. Yes. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't put it on. That's what it was. I found out what it is. Yeah. yeah it's quite handy with that smoke on. It is mandatory. <laughs> it's bumped. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Sorry, mate, what was that? Sorry, what was that, Jed? Anyone going back to the carrier? Uh, negative, no. mate. What time is it in the real world? It ten past eleven. It is ten past eleven. So, yes, yeah, still just off topic. Um, hmm. I did um, the BIOS update. Seems to work okay. Yeah, perfect. I mean, but it's not often that something these days goes wrong with BIOS updates. I don't know, but from what I've watched on YouTube and what I've heard, <laughs> if it fucks up, it can break your PC. Yeah, no, it can, but it's not, it's not, a, not that common these days. So, um, tomorrow I'm going to strip uh, the PC down and uh, put the new Ryzen 5 in. Whoa! Oh, no. Yeah, no, cool. And it came with its own cooler again. It hey? did, yeah. It did, yeah. yeah. Um, I might invest in an AO, uh, IO cooler or whatever they're called down the line, but. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I think it's alright because uh, I've got plenty of. I've got like three. I've got three intake fans and one exhaust fan. So I think we yeah, it'll be fine. It's just, it's just a case of. Uh, the cooler you can keep it, the more it will um, auto overclock. Yeah. And the more performance you'll get out of it type thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean the, the the AMD default coolers are pretty good. Yeah. Um and when they stop giving you coolers then you know you need a a different solution really. Yeah. I was gonna go down the uh, the liquid route. 
Yeah, that's fine. Radiator is. Yeah. He ain't messing about. He ain't messing about, is he? Oh, this, whoa, whoa. It was funny. This, this arrived in the post today, and the wife said to me, So is that it now? Is it all like upgraded now? I said, Well, yeah, but next, what I'm going to get is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. A 14 4 yeah, well, it doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop at your PC. I think <laughs> when I've got this fitted, it's going to be up there mid to high high end, I think. Because I've got like a 3070 Ti, and then it's going to have like one of the newest Ryzen 5s in it. Uh, give us a shout when you're ready there, Phil. Yeah, it's at... Um... So, so, how's it going? Hey. Oh, it is Toto. We were hey. just talking about you earlier. Wondering where you were. Well, I just, well, I just sent him a message. Well, wave. A uh, private message. That's still more than that's still more than Rambo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just as well he can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. After, he knew it was coming. After that, Phil, um, he'll say uh, rearm complete as well. Yeah, rearm's complete. Right. Okay. So, sorry to jump on yourself. What is it you fly? F18. Nice. Yeah. Good man. What, what do you want to learn? Oh, well, I've got that and the Apache. The Apache, forget that. It just goes around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, the Apache. It's used in all the radios and all the weapons. Sidewinders, guns, simple ones, anything else, get it. I'm, I'm usually burning with no wings before I get the road. <laughs> Who's that just behind me? That's me. Oh, right, okay. So yeah, <laughs> Phil. Phil, uh, do you want to get your HSI page up and set yourself a waypoint four? Yeah. Uh, have you got time, by the way, mate? If you need to get off, that's fine. Okay. So you take the lead. So you just go go past me on the inside. Somewhere out there, a general spilled his coffee. Yeah. What's God that, sorry, damn it, Maverick. Uh, where are you guys? We're at uh, Gudata. Yeah. Is he soft for everybody else, or is it just for me? You, you, you just sound a bit quiet for me as well. I've got him off to 160%. I'll get him up to 200%. <laughs> are you we're, on this full lock, mate? Where's your. Where's your um, your mic, Toto, is it, is it near your mouth or is it? Right, okay. Uh, I can't remember how to do it. Uh, um, go to your settings, user settings at the bottom. So down the bottom, yeah. And then it's voice and video. Then you can turn the input, input up. To about yeah. 50%. So, right, so uh, take off, um, do a right turn uh, onto your waypoint, um, get into about maybe a, a five, to five, seven degree climb and get up to about 20,000 feet, and me and Steel will just stay with you. Okay. So don't forget, when you take off, uh, flaps up, gear up, and, uh, in your own time.
What's that cloud of smoke that keeps appearing? There was sausages smoke you tasted earlier. Logged on to our server, Toto. Yes. Bye, okay, Yeah, um, yeah. As soon as you've got a good speed up there, Phil, just come out of Bernard as well. Okay. When you go to like 350, 400 knots, just come out of Bernard and like, uh, just manage your speed then so you don't like, uh, watch your fuel and stuff. And like before, get to about 20,000 and then uh, maybe about 350 knots. I haven't said this for a while. Smoke on! <laughs> <laughs> right, so I got that. Yes. Do you want to jump into sorty too? And I'll try and yeah. I don't want to scare you boys, but there's smoke in the air. <laughs> I love being able to use mirrors. <laughs> Oh, you don't get mirrors in the 16, do you? No, no, it's no good for me, mate. Cool. See my helmet. If you start losing too much speed there, Phil, in the climb, just drop the nose out about five degrees. Yeah, just the nose. It's like the, these, like the little things in fuel management and like you know climb rates and all of that. Even if it's down to like two, two degrees. But who's red smoke? Who's blue smoke? Uh, who just thinks blue? <laughs> <laughs> who do you think's red? <laughs> yeah, that's like you never see me with red smoke. <laughs> you never see me with red anything, to be honest. Never knew Steel was a Manchester United fan. I thought I'm bitter. <laughs> right over the top of you there. Steel. On your uh, 9 o'clock there, mate. Come on, pass you there, high left there. Goose. Yeah, everyone to that, mate. Yeah, visual, mate. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Just speed there, Phil. <clears throat> Three five four. Roger. It's just so I can match it. That's why I, I ask. Yeah. Now, Steel wears VR. He plays this in VR. 
So when you see him, he's going to look awfully close. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him a few times. It's just, it's just yeah. a thing. That's scary. <laughs> scares the pants <laughs> off me. It's usually when I'm flying to a target and I don't know he's there, and I'll just, I'll just turn left and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Because <laughs> I'm always there. <laughs> I know, yeah, you're like a ghost. No, uh, that was, was Rambo. Rambo. Oh, Rambo. It was a bit of a glitch though, that. Oh, well, he says it is anyway. <laughs> Not taking anybody out um, with my flying. Well, not like bumping missiles? into them. Missiles? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That's a story. But we've all been there. VR, because I've, I've done it in VR as well, you can get bloody close in VR. <laughs> Just no sudden movement. It looks boss though, that's the good thing about it. <laughs> Did you see are you still doing three five four Phil? Yeah. Watch out. Dead on twenty thousand as well. Okay, I'm locked in. So I've got my automatic throttle control and my barometric on. So I can take my hands off. Screenshot time! <laughs> VR, so I can't. I, I think I'll get too close. I'm slowly coming into you guys. There you go. Lovely. The fun thing is if somebody hasn't changed their um, altimeter from radar to barometric, if you're like sliding underneath them... The yeah, yeah, the alarms go off. Yeah, they're about to hit the ground. Where's he gone? Where's Steel gone? Don't like it when I can't see him. Yeah, he's quite close to you, mate, on the left. Oh, yeah. Seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a popular little video. Um, where do you go? <laughs> you take left, <laughs> you take right, <laughs> you go to the external view. Oh, there he is. <laughs>
Always. This is the first time I've had smoke on for ages. Makes you think, like, you know, I find this hard. The Blue Angels were, like, they're literally within, like, a metre of each other. Yeah, well, putting manoeuvres. Yeah. Staying in, like, perfect timing formations and things. Hat off. See, I'm watching Phil that I don't bump into him, and I'm watching you that you don't bump into me. <laughs> I think it's probably the closest I've been to you guys before. Oh, come on, you can get closer than that. <laughs> Are we alike in the 18 then, Goose? Yeah, it's not bad, mate. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I've got a lovely little bird, this. Yeah, I, used to f I think when I first got this, I uh, had FC3 and flew the 15 of it. And then uh, this came on sale. And then I was flying one night and then some South African bloke turned up next to me. <laughs> Idiot. It was like... Two <laughs> what was that, two years ago now? Yeah, just about, eh? Must, must be two years. Um, I was checking dates the other day. Um, my first stream was uh, March 22nd, I think. I had it on my Facebook the other day. It was like March 22nd, uh, 2000, uh, 20, I think it was. Yeah, but back, back then we were on um, Twitch. Yeah, and it was uh, Tarkov. I'm pretty sure. I think this is the closest I've been. Uh, no to someone not in VR. Uh, I'm going to edge left a bit there still and get a bit too close. Okay. It's just, I mean, I've flown the 16 and the 18. I know some people say they find the 16 easier. I just, I think the 18, it's just easier to get too many things. Yeah. And it just, Seems more intuitive. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. And you can land on a carrier. It does, yeah. And you can get on the carrier. This is the carrier thing for me. It's the one plane that doesn't do anything probably the best, but it just it does everything pretty well. Yeah. Okay, I think six. Having a carrier option is nice as well. Yeah, that's that's the thing, you know. If if you if you only had money for one plane, you know, I would say get this one. Yeah. yeah. Just for the experience of a full fidelity model, and then um, you know the carrier experience. Even if you can't afford the super carrier, you've still got a you've got two pretty carriers these days that you can land on um, and enjoy. And um, yeah, just. Does everything else? Oh, sure. Well, I mean, don't get me. The 16 is awesome. It's a little, you know, hot rod. Um, yeah. I find it credible for air-to-air -air stuff. But um, yeah, hey, that's pretty much where it stops. You know, I use it for air-to-air. -air. I know Haggis loves it for all the air-to-ground toys, but I haven't really gotten on with its air-to-ground stuff. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm streaming it just 1080p. Uh, there, Jay. Well, I've got a decent I mean, graphics that's card. A, that's just a me fault, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the 16 and the 8 ground stuff. Sorry, for some reason, my chat hasn't been, like, updating. I don't know, just catching all these uh, comments. So, sorry about that. Yeah, Jay, it's, um... Yeah, it's just 1080p. I haven't got, like, a 1440 uh, telly or any. Hey Mike, sorry you missed that mate, thanks for that. Well, if you give him enough stars, you could maybe afford one. Yeah, well that's the next thing. <laughs> and then after that, me, uh, 
Die Welpen und so. Ich meine, die Frau kann dir deinen anderen Screen geben. Hast du sie gehört? Oh no, no more teas for you, mate. No more tea for you. Now, well, during the day when she works from home, she's got this. She's got all of this. She just plugs a, um, a laptop into the monitor and stuff. But I, was, I actually said to her, say, yeah, if I get a 14, 14, 32 inch, I can put it there. And then the one I'm on now, I can put a, get a bracket and I can fit it above my head. <laughs> yes, you can. I'm just going to slow off with a bit there, touching uh, steel. I'm taking a lead a bit. Okay, 48 miles out, 49 miles out from waypoint four. Can you get your harm page? I've got harms picked up. Have you got harms there, Goose? Or are you yeah, I've got a couple, mate. Yeah, I've got okay, a then. So, uh, what you want to do is switch to Master Arm on. Yeah. Air to ground. Yep. The little button, right? Now, yeah. uh, top row buttons on the left says harm. So, box that. Right, yep. Right, on the left side, you'll see SP, TOO, yep. and PB. Box yep. TOO. Yeah, right. Watch out. Right, now, can you see the SAM site up on, on the screen? It's like a box with an S in it. Uh, yes, mate, yeah. Right, now make that page so with your sensor select switch. So, sensor select left. Okay, then, so see your master arm switch. Yeah, no, I don't think I've put it up to the edge where the top toggle. Which, which um, yeah, yeah, that on the on the left hand side. So your left, your left uh, monitor screen, left EDI. Yeah. To yeah. the left of that, you got your master switch. It says arm and safe. Yes. Yeah. Right, switch it up to arm. Arm. Yep. Then directly above that, there's a button that says AG for air to ground. Yeah, I've done that, mate. Yeah, I've clicked okay. on arm. Yeah. On to the TOO. Yeah. Box that. I've got a Sam SA6 right. square box. Now, have you made box. that? Have you made that page soy? So it's got like the little diamond in the top right corner. I'm not sure how I do that. It's your sensor. It's your sensor select switch. The one yeah, that you press. Think, I don't think I've set that up, mate. Sensor select switch. Uh, it it should, well, you've got the T16000. So on your thumb buttons, on your on your throttle. Yeah. You've got the top one, which is the nipple. Yes. The yeah. button beneath that, that should be your sensor select switch. Oh, okay. I think by default, it's that by default anyway. Oh, so, okay, pull it back, uh, pull it towards you, like left. Do left on that. Yeah, I just, here we go, sensor control switch. Yeah. Oh, okay, mate. Um, so, just I'm just going into my settings, mate, and clearing the, the settings on there, so... should go left, right, up and down, or forward and aft. So forward is up. Yeah. Uh, Phil just tell me she's gonna drop your tank. <laughs> so forward is aft, yeah. Well, if you, if you push, the, push that switch up, that's forward. Phil, do you wanna take the shot? Have you got it locked, caged? Yeah. Do you wanna take the shot? We might have to break off here soon, we're going to get fired upon. Yeah, back up. Jammer on. It's got depress as well, do I use depress there or not? No. no. Okay. So if I do the aft is up, left no, is No, aft, aft is down. Down, yeah. Forward is up, up. and left right. and right. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've fired on the right. the Sam three. Roger. 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 
Uh, missile launch, missile launch. Roger, it's not on me. It's on me. Okay, I'm breaking off. Just want to say, there's two missiles going left. The other cool thing, if you are using the harm, you can actually turn your jammer on because you're not using your radar um, to fire the weapon. Yeah. Right, and sausage, I've got the uh, button set up. Right, okay. Do you know which button your cage on cage button is? Uh, You'll need that one set up as well. Go into go into an orbit. Set yourself up in an orbit or something, just so you don't get shot at. Oh, someone's being hit, I think. Oh no, I've just blew it up. Just do a go around. Yeah, I'm on Bangor Field as well. Right, okay, so you need to head to Waypoint uh, 2, Make Up. That'll be the closest base to land at. So, um, sorry, Goose. Yeah, cage yeah. and cage button. Do you know them yeah. two orange buttons on your throttle that are at the front? You use like your ring finger and your middle finger yes, for? Yes, mate, yeah. Right, yeah. Now, the one to the right, I use that one as my cage and cage. Right, okay. The left one I use as a modifier. Yeah, so I, I use those for my. Uh, oh, I've been shot down. All right, I okay. use both. I both use both of those for my um, push to talk. Oh, right, okay. The different channels. I've just used the uncaged, you know the uh, orange button at the bottom on the right hand side? Yeah. Yeah, I've used that as the cage uncaged button. Oh, right, okay. Well, as long as you know where it is. Yeah. See, what you do is, when you've got your soif uh, thing sorted out, Yeah. Uh, on that harm page, you make that soy so you get the little diamond in the top right corner. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did see that, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, when you've got, like, you know, you've got the S on, on the screen, if you yeah. press your cage uncaged, It'll put a little, what's called the handoff. A little symbol above it will appear saying H off. That means right, it's locked. Okay. That means it's locked. And okay, yeah. fire. That's right, it, okay, fire. Mate. Right. No worries, I'll give that a try then. But I think all Sam's might be down now, so... Uh, just when you're practicing next time. Yes, mate, yeah. I mean, I've done it tonight on the stream, so if you watch it back, you'll, yeah, get, watch the, it back. You, you'll get the talk through. All right, mate, yeah. I always watch them back anyway, mate, so yeah, I'll yeah. watch them. So what are we on now? Two, two, two hours, 34 minutes. I'm going to turn back onto target now and see if there's anything left for me to lock up. And I'll talk it through it now. But I don't think there's anything left. I was still right, saying Sam 3, Sam 6. I'm not getting spiked by anything. No, I'm not getting spiked yet. I'm 30 miles out though, so just give it a few more miles. I've still got three and six showing up on me uh, RWR, me HUD. You've got an SA9, which is um, southeast of you. Right, uh, I think it, 127. Look, your harm can only pick up things that give off a, 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 a radar or radiation. Right, you know, they okay. fire, their radar is like radiation that fires out, and your harm page picks that up, you see. Right, that's, okay. when, that's when you get the little six or the little three or the little ah, S right. boxed. Basically, basically just the tracking radars, but I think they're both down. There we go. Oh, there. Active. Yeah, I'm getting something. It's not showing up on my harm page, though. Yeah, I'm getting... Something's tracking me. We've got some SA3s, um, northwest position. Yeah. Uh, they're in... Oh, three, that's two, why. Four. Yeah, I've got no harms left, that's why. That's why I can't see that. Ah. It's a six. There's a six still there. Yeah. Six and I also had a three briefly. Yeah, yeah. There's, two, there's two threes. Oh no, there's four threes. Yeah, the, 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 the Sam the Sam three is a shorter range one. So if you've got like a um, if you've got a base with a six and a three, you're gonna pick up the six first. Right. Okay. And then the closer you get, then the three picks up. So that don't depend on distance. Then that's just just, just the actual Sam itself. It it is distance. Yeah. It's how powerful the Sam is basically. Right, okay. The versions, yeah. Right. 
See in PB mode, in uh, pre-brief mode, you can put the code in for because uh, they've all got like a coded signature. Everything has got a coded signature. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, it's like 101 and 132 and all that sort of stuff. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm bingo, I'm gonna head to make up. Are you gonna try and kill that six there as well? I think he's bingo as well. Yeah, I'm bingo. Okay. What is your fuel, Phil? It's no bingo. I came off as bingo, but it's not. I just noticed. I just flicked in it for 72,000, so it's fine. What have you got, 7,000? Yeah, 7,300 is what it sounds like. Yeah, so you've got enough to take oh, the shot. Oh, you've got plenty, yeah. yeah. T turn back in. 3.4. Yes. It's uh, bearing 297 there, Bill. Okay. See it on your OWR as well. Yeah, it's just the way you might have set it. Yeah, you're approximately 35 miles out from the SA6 there. Yeah, high and fast is a pretty good way to deliver a harm. Yeah. Especially in pre pre beef mode as well. The higher and faster you are, the further you can fire it from. You got uh, Rambo and Nort taking out targets at Crash the Door. It's one of my favourite missions, Seed, going in after the SAM sites. I do, yeah. I like Mavericks as well, I like going in with Mavericks. Some pigs. So with the, um, the F-18 sausages, do you have like tables like you do with the F-16? Uh, no. I know what you mean, but no. Yeah. Uh, You've got what's called pre-brief mode. Yeah. So, like I said about the whole signature thing, like uh, I think a SAM-6 is the code for that is 108. Right. So what you do is you go to your harm page and instead of pressing T-O-O, -O, you press yeah. P-B for pre-brief. Right, okay. And then I think on the right-hand side column of buttons, you'll have a yeah. UFC button. Yeah. So you box that and then your UFC will light up. And then you put right. a colon colon around TGT for target. Yeah. And then you type in the code of the missile you're going for. So let's say 108, 108, enter. And then on your harm page, it'll show like the code 108. Right. And then what you do is with your HSI page, where we were like boxing waypoint. Yeah. Uh, underneath the arrows to go through your waypoints, there's one called weapon designate, WPDSG. Yeah. I, what? <laughs> What what that does? Is now, really. <laughs> yeah. No, you'll 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 pick it up. When you've yeah. boxed that, that'll like you know, you know your waypoints are on the top button. That'll turn from yeah. waypoint to TGT for target. Right. So basically, you're telling the missile that there's a Sam oh, six sorry, there. Sorry. You've been you've been launched on. Have I? Yeah. yeah, you've been launched, mate. Yeah, I tried firing, but it came up next. But there's two been launched on you, mate, and and you still. Sorry, sausage. No, that's all right. Uh, so, like, yeah, if the weapon designate, it'll turn, like, the yeah. waypoint to a target point. Right, right. And then, like, you'll get, like, that um, CCIP drop line. And then... Yeah, see, the thing is, things with on. the F-16 is you've got, like, three tables, and if you're not on the right table, you, you just... You won't see it, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a pain, really. So the nice thing with this is, by default, you see everything, and you can just basically tab yeah. between yeah. what you want to hit. 
Um, or then if you want to target something very specific, then you can use the pre-brief mode to find, you know, if you, I'm specifically going after SA6s, then you can yeah. that's that. that is quality. And especially yeah, if, like, like on your left screen, you'll have your harm page, and on the right screen, you got your SA page up. Yeah. So, yeah. like, I'm getting, like, 18 flash up on mine, and you can see 6 and all of that there. So, if you know it's a 6, you get, like, I've got it on a knee board, you see. Right. So, if I get yeah. my knee boards up, yeah. just fl flick through it. So, Phil, if you couldn't launch the, the harm, um, make sure the harm screen is soy. Yes. And then get your hand off, make sure it's air to ground, make sure master arm's on. Yeah, just run through the steps that you do, like master arm on, air to ground on, harm page up and soy. So soy yeah. is left, isn't it, on the switch? Yes. I forgot, yeah. I forgot the hand off. Oh, yeah, the cage <laughs> on cool. cage, yeah. You just, like, go through it again, step by step. Uh, so yeah. The only, thing I, did, the only thing I didn't like about the F-18 was the RWR uh, screen being half hidden. But because you could, like, like obviously we've been showing earlier on that you can actually put that onto your DDI. Yeah, yeah, you get a big uh, one on your DDI. Yeah, that's a, that's a game changer, that is. Yeah, yeah. Quality. Yeah, uh, I actually rely on that like 100% with the F-16, so. So, have you got a pen on you there, Goose? I have, mate, yes. Right, write down, uh, 2 hours, 42 minutes. 2 hours, 42 minutes, yeah. Right, now which, when you watch the stream back tomorrow, on my knee board, I've got my Harm Radar Codes page up. Right, okay. So like, SA8, the code yeah. for that is 117. SA6, right. Gainful, the code for that is 108. Right. SA3 right. is 123. But if you see that, it's actually in Discord somewhere. Um, so you can download it and you can put it in your plane. Right. See, what I, what I tell everyone is uh, get your knee board hockey sorted. Because as a reference guide, when you, it's either that or you flick out escape briefing to find out where you want to go. Right, I, okay. Um, the SA, uh, the knee board's like invaluable when you, especially in the warbirds as well. Because you don't know where you are, but you can get a map up and you can put a position marker down on the map so you know where you are. Yeah, that's quality. Yeah, that's, I, th I think looking at the F-18 in comparison to the F-16, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a game changer. Yeah, it, it can do so much more. Like, like I said, I, I started flicking between the 16 and the Apache and all of that yeah. because I was getting sick of being shot down in the 18 because I couldn't use the radar properly, but I can use it properly now. With the, the only thing I, I do sort of miss with the F-16 is when you've obviously got your radar wrong for enemy targets, or air to air, yeah. you've got like a, uh, like a cone or like a triangular like sort of area where you sort of keep, it's like a gimbal limit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... How does it work with the F-18 with a gimbal limit? Um, you know, how, how do you know you're staying, sort of staying in with it? You know, with it? Within you know, range the of it. Okay, range sort of thing, or, or locked. Yeah, it's all to do with that, uh, that timer that I was talking about before. Right. Making sure your timer's set to 32. Because all I used to do is obviously bank left or right, and then sort of literally just ta keep the enemy, t enemy target in the... Well, just sort of literally on the line of the gimbal. On the edge, yeah. Yeah, just on the edge of the gimbal. Isn't you it? can do the same with the attack radar, as long as it's on the edge and um, right. you keep lock, you yeah. should be all right. The other good thing is your uh, your Hemex, you know, your head mounted display. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I've never really used that before, not even in the, in the F-16. To be honest, I wouldn't. Brilliant. To be honest, I wouldn't be the best fine. one because uh, I, I very rarely use it. I'm, I'm trying to use it a bit more in like. Um, Air to wear, yeah. um, especially with the nine X's as well, because you can fire them over your shoulder. I, d I mean, I do notice a difference though with like when you sort of go defensive, you can tell it's not as fast as the sixteen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it does feel like quite sluggish. That's why. Yeah. When you go yeah. defensive in the eighteen, you you, you, yeah. you dive down. You try and get yeah. as low well, as fast as you can. Why it's easier to get shot down in the eighteen than it's the sixteen. Yeah. It doesn't seem to escape as quick. No. It's a little bit longer to. Probably takes that's a bit the, more skill, I think. Which that's is, the yeah, thing, like, you. Once you. Get, with the 16, you still have a chance to, like, get away from most things if you. If you want to, or if you see an yeah. opening. But with the 18, once you engage, you're stuck in the fight. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you yeah, it's only one way out. Yeah. You can be close range in the F 16, and you still, like, say, got a good chance of. 
away from it for the eight. Yeah, if you get the guy off your six and you just you know yeah. bolt in a oh. direction, yeah, then uh, yeah you can get away. But with the eighteen, there's no such luxury. No. I think as a whole. Not gonna package, ruin anything, you know. I think as a whole package with the carriers and stuff, it's yeah. I mean, it's, it's all it's tactics for different down. planes. Yes. Because yeah. with the eighteen, it's like the way I go defensive. I get as low as I can, as fast as I can. And get it, you know, get it really low. Lose, lose the missiles in the ground cutter. Yeah. Yeah. So like even, even, even against like the Sams as well. The F-16 was, it was a piece, of, a piece of cake to get away from the Sams, but the A-team is a little bit more. Oh, Sorry, Phil. What did you ask there? Where should I head now? Uh, uh, waypoint two. If you want to rearm refill. Yeah, I've just touched down at waypoint two now. And I forgot to do the anti skids again, so I'm all over the place. Yeah, but thanks for going through the uh, the cold start sausage, man. That was, that was quality, mate. No, that's all right. Well, that's what I mean. Do that four or five times, and you'll get it down. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's, I've, it's, I've it's, some, it's. I've took some notes, so. Uh... It's uh, it's. You can get it. You can really. You can get in the air in about two, two, three minutes, whereas an auto start takes four or five because it does all the checks and. Yeah. Put, puts the thing, you know, puts the refueling nozzle up and, you know, it's a pain in the ass. I think what it is, it's because the INS is sort of close to the end of the auto start. Yeah. Whereas when you're, you're doing it cold start, like manually, you yeah. do the INS quite quick. That's the trick. So, yeah. Get your yeah, get your right yeah. engine up, get all your systems switched on, and yes. then turn it on. And yeah. then while that's doing that, you do everything else. Yeah, no, that's good quality. I think, like I say, it makes you feel more sort of involved with the plane as well. Yeah. Doing it that way. You feel a bit more professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, still got me f smoke on. So when's this uh, flying lesson you're doing sausage? Uh, well I've I've got the I've got the thing there. It's just I phone yeah. up and say can I have this day and they say yeah or no. Wait. Mate, that's so, exciting. I'm gonna wait until we. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until we. And it's it's a pro, you said you say in it, it's a proper flying lesson. It's not like go up and sightsee. You you have control. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not the same. But I was thinking about doing some like gliding lessons. Oh, I've man, always wanted to do that as well. Yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to do that as well. Rumble. But uh, yeah, we've literally got like a gliding thing. Sort of. Well, how far away is it, mate? About three or four miles all the way. Uh, my uncle used to like live in Liverpool, and he used to travel down to actually go flying the gliders. Yeah, he I think they do a lot in the Dales, Yorkshire way. Yes, because they've got yeah. the hills and things, haven't they? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, knowing updrafts and yeah. knowing how to look for wind, how to look for wind, know where the wind is around clouds, or actually where clouds are not. Yeah. Um, I think for me, it's just that like, it's not as uh, worrying when you've not got to worry about an engine cutting out and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Still well, a lot of Well, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. But now, yeah, yeah, I might give that a go. So it's on my bucket list anyway, so I might give that a go. So with the, uh, with the Sam sites down at Krimsk? Oh, the radar's down. down? I think there's an SA3 left. Right. Yeah, it's on yellow health there. Yeah, Rambo and um, Nort have smashed the uh, Krasnodar Centre. Yeah, bullet, it is. That place. <laughs> it's done except for a couple of bunkers. Yeah, well, we'll let you off, mate. We'll let you off. <laughs> Top two nah, well done, mate. Pad. Yeah, I finally figured out how to take the man pads out. Wait, what? Why are you taking them out? Where? Rockets. <laughs> All right, okay. I'll I just, just fly up to twenty-five thousand, right over the top of them, cut the power, drop straight down on them, get lined up, power back up to get speed, and then fucking oh. unleash holy hell <laughs> on it. And, and it worked. And then pull out. At about three and then pull out. Yeah, good. three feet <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> that's Very where. Mate, that was. That's wow. where the. Um, the G limiter, where you can unlock the G limiter, comes in handy. 
Just do a handbrake. I did not do that. I was afraid I would stall it. I, so I didn't I didn't do it. Uh, I didn't use the G limiter. But um, the sausage I was, I was mucking around the other night and was doing trying dive bombing in the Harrier and it records the max G and I blacked yeah. out got nine point nine G out of the thing. Why done that like Cobra maneuver in this? Uh, I like started to black out and because uh, it, it stays up on the screen, doesn't it? What your max G was? I think I got fourteen G. <laughs> hey, Mohammed, how are you doing, mate? Well, Thanks for the like. night, lads. So I'll see you Friday. All right, then, hey, mate. Have a good yeah. one. Cheers, man. Yeah, night, night, night. Night, Oh. Yeah, I've got, a dot, I've got a lot of practicing to do in the F eighteen. I must admit. It's a new module, and it? it's just getting the hours in. And again, Maybe it's about whether you like it or not, you know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I think, like I say, I mean, you know, I haven't really been in it much. Really it's the best well. module. I it mean, is, yeah. You can just do everything in it. That's the thing about it. Hands down, it's it's my go-to plane. It really is. It's that it's that black and red bloody livery for me. Fucking, I absolutely love that. Rambo's fault. Was yeah, and we, we, we found the sticker on the A-brake just now. Oh, yeah. Did you find that? Yeah. <laughs> I never said anything. Yeah? I've got a screenshot on it. I just was pointing in front of me with his A-brake up. I'm like, oh my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> That's cool. There's one on the F-15 too. I'll go ahead and tell you. But... <laughs> Not a surprise, mate. Not a surprise. Right, so I think I'm going to do one run on... Um... Krimsk with some Mavericks and then call it there. Roger that, mate. Roger. Yeah, I'm just on the coming runway? home with full. I'm going to land and then I'll be gone. I'll tell you what, though, Phil. He's looked after you tonight all steel, isn't he, though? Yeah, definitely. Krimsk, I'll take some rockets over there. Oh, steel's not a bad wingman to have, mate. Where are you, Phil? I'm on my way to Bitcoin 2, I'm 46 miles out. Roger. Okay, I'm loaded up, I'm going to take off from uh, Mako. Oh, that's <laughs> you. That's pretty sorry. weird. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 125 wave. I didn't know anybody <laughs> was over miles here. Away. Yeah, I've just landed to rearm refuel. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't even say anything. I thought I was the only one over here. No, no, it's alright. Well, the SAM sites are down at uh, Krimsk. Oh, we there, need to send me waypoint. It's four, isn't it? Yeah, looks about right. 89 miles. So we're probably going to need another night like this with the Harriers. Yeah. Oh my god. The oh. Harrier, I hate already. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the, uh... it's going to be one of them ones that you hate, but when you get the hang of it, it's going to be yeah. like, oh. Go go do the uh, instructional uh, cold start and then do the instructional takeoff and you'll be like, fuck you, dude. Just I need to know how to fly this. I don't need a history lesson on the plane. Yeah. It's, yeah, very, it's, not, it's, yeah, it's in, very long winded, isn't it? It's very long winded. Back in 1982. <laughs> uh, Holy, I mean, yeah, that's a very complex thing to try and get off the ground and to get back on the ground for that matter. And fly. I mean, the flaps are constantly part of your flight. You have to be telling the plane what to do with the flaps. And Oh my god. I was just like, I don't know about this dude. I, okay. I might have to... I, uh, I literally... I can't remember. I think it was Nord and Chad that was online the evening. Um, I mean... I just, luckily, I mean, I set everything up, all the buttons and stuff, but I mean, it was literally, I took off from the carrier, um, the die, made a loop, because in a room, but I didn't put any weapons on, I think, I can't remember, and then landed the first time. Um, it seemed to be pretty, I was, pretty uh, okay. I think it helps having a heli helicopter practice, to be honest, with the vertical uh, takeoff and landing, when I done it. And maybe that's, you know, maybe I'm just 
making it out more than it is just from all the information there that dude's trying to throw at you. Yeah, it's yeah. just in the training. I, I just literally got in it and it's like, what do I do? Okay, nozzles and I push this button. Okay, let me go. Yeah. 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 I was like worried about the water and all kinds of crazy shit. Like, oh, then I probably didn't need to be. I didn't even know about the water initially. But I did take off, like I said, I don't think I had lots of weapons on, so didn't really it, need the water. Yeah, it probably works fine. And a lot of that is probably just for the simulation guys. It probably doesn't actually function. Yeah. It's probably just, you know, clicking buttons and stuff, but it doesn't really do anything. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to give it a go, definitely. It's fun to fly. Once you get it flying, I mean, it, it, it flies good. Feels good. It just—it's just so slow. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you fly it low, so you think you're fast. When you see an 18 fly away from you, then it's like, oh my goodness, what am I in? <laughs> yeah, it's all about the air to ground and how we're doing it. Air to base. Air to ground and and the fact that you can, you know put the thing down on a farm somewhere where you don't have the ability to make a runway but oh yeah a road or something yeah oh i saw some um video of uh, some guy flying harrier and he's literally taking you around like buildings and stuff like really really slow absolutely his skills unbelievable man bloody hell i'm saying obviously doing real life as well Stick on RWS then or TWS? TWS. TWS. Yeah. A couple of reasons. First one, it's not a hard lock, so the guy doesn't necessarily know that you're locking him. Right. Um, okay. Secondly, just the ability between targets. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the just like first guy okay. fire, second guy fire, third guy yeah. fire, fourth guy fire. Are there any air threats over there, Sausage? Uh, no, but you can spawn them in if you want. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm just loading up with rockets. I'm uh, 61 miles out. Just going in with, I think, a four mouths. Yeah, four mouths. You know when you click on the uh, the data screen for the radar and you change the, uh, the locking time to like 32? Yeah. Do you, then, do you then press data again to go back? Or do you just yes. Do that, that screen you do? Yeah, you have to, you have to press it again to uh, do it. But every time uh, you switch between weapons, just go back in and check it again. Because it disengages okay. quite easily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Apparently it's a it bit of a bug, not. that. It's, it's not supposed to be set to four. It's supposed to be set to the highest one. It, I think it is. Um, they have it. I haven't seen anything confirming that, but there's a lot of people saying that yeah. F-18 pilots have said that it doesn't that it's lo it's once it's set it, it should stay set. Setting. So do you normally leave it on like two bar then? Scanning or? Uh, you can't switch between loads. I just leave it as is. A lot of people switch it to like you know high interleave, four it's bar, four bar high interleave if it's far away or. Yeah. Two bar struggling low. to get the guy go to four bar, and then once you start narrowing in on the guy, go back to two bar. Do you let it like sort of switch between high and medium? I well, yeah, because then you can switch it to manual. I leave it on auto. Okay, Rambo taking off. See you guys coming in. I'll be out of your way. Yeah, this black and red livery is lovely. <laughs> That's pretty sexy. It is. I haven't even flown in it yet. <laughs> well, other than the initial flight. Oh, thanks for the stars there, Marcel. And thanks for the like as well, mate. It's, it's one of the reasons I went for the um, F-18, mate. Isn't it? As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, oh hot in the eyes. Because it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
drooling out the corner of my mouth. I was like, oh gee, man, gotta have that 66 one. 66 feet. <laughs> yeah, nobody get into Goose's plate until it's had a proper scrub down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> disinfecting. That's it, get a death all out. <laughs> bleach that shit. Yeah, bleach it. <laughs> get out the, the black lights. Just all the STDs. Yeah. Just ignore that white substance, don't worry about that. <laughs> it's gel. <laughs> right, so I'm going to start hitting the uh, triple A's. I think the Sam site's uh, taken sorry, care stream. of. <laughs> yeah. right. Sorry, stream. Sorry, Carol. It's an 18. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry about the man, manless manliness here. It's not called a cockpit for nothing. <laughs> We weren't talking about man juice. <laughs> <laughs> I would love juice. Yeah. Nobody's helping. Goose is not a man, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one all. That's one all, Rambo. I got you earlier. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep coming, buddy. You'll get some points. I'll win, but you'll get some points. Oh, you have to watch the stream back, Rambo. What'd you do? I got you good, mate. I got you good. <laughs> How's that? Okay. <laughs> now nah, you have to watch the stream, mate. I'll watch it. <laughs> Even Steel was like, oof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm got a nice picture. I'm, I'm expecting a black eye, mate. I'm expecting a black eye. Oh, uh, never. Nah, you love it too much, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pushing it, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, don't you stop? You wouldn't spoon. <laughs> oh shit, is someone landing? Yeah, me. Oh fuck, sorry mate. Well, I'm lucky. No, it's right, runway to green. Uh, ish. Oh, it looks kind of grey. So, to me. sausage. Um, yeah. You put in the C 130. I'm not sure that that's the right one. I think it's supposed to say Hercules. Oh, but right, it was okay. also, it was also AI. It wasn't flyable. It was. I, I, I made a client. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll look into that. Okay. If you put a link, um, I'll, just, put, I'll, I'll send, send me, you a link to that. Yeah, send me a DM. Sure got the right one. Yeah, send me a DM and I'll uh, I'll put it in. Okay, I'm going in. Oh, Still's coming up behind you there, Phil. Yeah. Put off to the left, right. mate. Seventy. Seven miles out. It's out. okay, going around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 13, 12 miles, 13 miles out going in. It's not like I have my smoke on or anything. I like, the, I like the fact that you're telling him you're going round him when you've gone round him. <laughs> oh, that's still that's one thing you've been doing, um, pre programming the countermeasures. Because I used to do it all the time. Uh, comes in quite okay. handy. What do you guys go for with cameras? Do you just go with flares? Or it depends. No. Uh, if if oh. it's a Sam, it's chaff. If it's a uh, air to air, I usually flare. If yeah, if it's a Fox 2 or uh, if it's a man pad, I believe it's flares. Uh, have, um, you ever seen, have you ever seen any of the uh, Sams be taken out by flare or anything like that? Explodes. Getting lock on the side, I'm um, just in the middle. No, not blown up, but I mean, seen it not kill me. Yeah, yeah, it basically it generally just deflects their yeah. trajectory. Oh. They turn on to the, the chaff, and then the chaff disappears, and they don't they don't know where to go. Don't yeah, don't retract. Splash. Oh, right, like a little bit. Cut the harms and see if I can take out a sound. Yeah. So I'm looking for like SA threes or SA sixes. Um, no, I think the Sams. I, I'm all right. Uh, I think the Sams are down. I'm getting tracked by Sutton, but I don't know what. Oh, got launched on. Yeah, it's been launched on. SA3. SA3. 
Yeah, it's coming in fast. And it's gonna get me. Yes, on your six. Turn the other way. Oh, mate, you missed. Yeah, mate, mate, there's another one coming in, sausage. Right, Jack. Coming, coming on the three o'clock. Coming in hot. Come on, mate, you can do it. Uh, chaff, chaff, chaff. Not flare, chaff. Oh! oh I got confused Lucky which was the chaff and the flare. Oh! There's Sam tonight. I'll see you later. Keep taking it easy, mate. Yeah, gents, um, it's been a privilege and a pleasure, but um, I'm going to be off as well. Yeah. Uh, catch you guys on Friday. Sausage, so enjoy the rest of your week off. Yes, will do, mate. Um, don't break it tomorrow. I oh, know, yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. Just uh, don't force anything in. Always a pleasure, mate. Never a chore. You do. <laughs> gel. <laughs> gel. Use some gel, mate. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got some, actually. All right. <laughs> Bye. Oh, don't wait, take it easy. See you later, Steel. <laughs> nice, <Yeah>. Steel. <laughs> OK, uh, everyone in chat, I'm, I'm going to end the stream there. Thanks for joining me. Um, nice bit of a longer night because I'm off tomorrow. But that's great. Uh, back again on Friday for... Um, uh, Friday flight night to do mission night. I'm thinking Persian Gulf for that one. Um, and I'll see you all then on Friday. I wish you could all join. Uh, take it easy and bye. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the stars. Thanks for all the follows. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks everyone. Cheers myself. I'll, uh, I'll catch us all on Friday. Bye. <laughs>